is to get all three heats done this afternoon and then we'll be into pre-finals finals tomorrow for another epic days of racing here at Cartsport Auckland Bill Trap Group Raceway in West Auckland you're on the live stream at home hope you enjoyed a cup of tea and something to eat settle in for this afternoon's racing we promise there'll be lots of action play for this afternoon across all the categories already got one in the naughty corner Rotax Max Jr. having a discussion about something that happened in Heat 1. So we're just going to delay that Rotax Max Jr. Heat 2 until we can get that sorted out. And then we'll be uh, back into normal race order. So gates open, folks. Here we go. 100% electrical. Big your pardon. 100% extreme appliances. Rotax DD2. Out the gate for Heat 2. These carts are uh, 34 horsepower, couple of couple of speed gearbox. We've got one legend out there. So if the, anyone uh, running a white plate, the number 66 in this category, Glenn Ellis is a legend plate. So that's someone over 60 years of age. So uh, great job, from Glenn Ellis, to be uh, to be racing at 60 over 60 years of age. A huge accomplishment on its own. So keep an eye on the number 66, that's Glenn Ellis playing the legend plate. Josh Beth of course, running the black and white plate for being top half champion from last year. Round one more time, the race director Graham Knight's going to send them. So 15 lap heat two here. We get them all formed up around three. The clubhouse corner there, ready to rock and roll. Ready for a start this time round. The race director in my ear telling us we're about to get underway. Here we go, Beth Yoon, Walker on the front row. Watch for the lights, racing. Good start from Josh Beth Yoon, jumped out to an early lead. Aaron Walker's gonna slot in behind. In the number three, they're gonna follow each other into turn two. Mac McBride trying to go on the outside. Not able to get through there. But Daniel Mayo's gonna hang on to second place. A third place, that is a big pardon behind Darren Walker. Here comes Matt McBride, he's going to put it in at turn five. There goes McBride down to take over third place. Going to set the missile lock on the three NZ cart of Darren Walker in front. So your race order, Beth Yoon. Then it's Darren Walker, Matt McBride. Daniel Mayo running our legend plate. Then the 54, Kevin Storr. Then Max Donnelly, the 25 cart. Vikram Singh in seventh place, the number 55. Then it's the 66 of Glenn Ellis, one of our legends. Around they'll come to complete lap two of 15. Beth Hewn in charge. 31 flat that time around, just jumped into the 29s now. 29 sevens. McBride looks racy early again, like he did in the previous heat. So it's Beth Hewn, Walker McBride. Kokoroa driver's got handfuls of Matthew McBride to contend with for this race. Then it's Daniel Mayo, Kevin Storr down the inside. That was a good pass there down at turn seven. Glenn Ellis put a move on the 55 of Vikram Singh. Got the job done out of turn seven. And barreled up the straight. Here comes uh, under pressure now, Ellis into turn two. Singh down the inside again, picks up. The position that he just lost. Cam Hill's in there as well in the 43 trying to make a move. 
Obviously down the inside at Clubhouse, but didn't uh, make anything of that. Still Beth Hune leads the three of Walker. Matt McBride in the 24 cart. Now the fastest on track, McBride. Fastest lap of the race for the man in the 24 cart in third place. Then we go back to Daniel Mayle. The 54 of Kevin Storr. Then it's Max Donnelly. Vikram Singh. Then Alice Cam Hill down the inside. Can he make it stick this time down at Clubhouse? Oh, Alice gets shoved out in the weeds. Cam Hill gets through. So 10 to go for Beth Hune. 29-2. Leads a 29-3 and a 29-4. But male in fourth place. Almost as quick as our leader. Looking racy, the legend of the master in fourth place. The number 88 of Daniel Mayle. Tom Auckland done a few laps around this track in his time. Keen to put some pressure on Mac McBride. Bethune still leads. Here comes the 24 down the inside. On Darren Walker. So Matt McBride picks up second place off Darren Walker. Walker back to third. Mail in fourth. Then it's Kevin Storr. Max Donnelly in the 25 car. Great pass. Matt McBride into Death Valley. Locked up the great puff of smoke from the tyres. He chucked it into turn one. Displaced Darren Walker back to third. Bethune looks over his shoulder. He's got about 10 cart links over Matthew McBride. Then it's Walker. Still Daniel Mail in fourth. Kevin Storr fifth. Max Donnelly sixth. The 43 of Cameron Hill is seven. Then it's our legend, Glenn Ellis in eighth. Ninth place, Vikram Singh. Then it's Craig Cook. In tenth, Tim Wakefield is 11. Mark Taylor 12. Darren Johnson is 13th. So we're half race distance in this 100% Albany Extreme Appliances Rotax DD2s. Up next, we're going to have KZ2. Can't wait for that. No change in the race order. Still just starting to spread out. Beth Hune got the field well under control. He was 1.3 seconds ahead. He crossed the line on lap eight. That lap, that, that gap has definitely grown. So it's gone from 1.245 out to 1.4. So Beth Hune got a stranglehold on the field. And it's Darren Walker in third place, the number three NZ. One more back to Daniel Mail in fourth, the 88 cart, running the first of our Masters green plates. Two thirds through now, five to go. Rotex DD2, proudly supported by 100% Extreme Appliances in the Albany Mega Centre in Auckland. No change in the order. Circulating round and round. Walker can't make an inroad on Matt McBride. He picked up a second in the first heat, Matt McBride. He may go two from two. Bethune looks untouchable out in front. That feral art cart on rails for the number 32. 29 flat. That time around a tenth quicker than the rest of the field. Walker searching high and low for a way past Matt McBride through turn four. They come up to five. In three, six and seven. Still McBride hangs on to second place. Walker third. Then it's the 88 of Daniel Mayle. Kevin Storr still back there in fifth place. Max Donnelly in the 25 and six. Then it's Cameron Hill in seven. Looking around the park, there's nothing changed in the order. The 83 of Mark Taylor and Darren Johnson, the 73 card having a little battle at the back. Oh, Walker's got past McBride. No, he hasn't. Beg your pardon. They look the same. Walker's looking for a way past with two to go. So it's still McBride in second. Walker third. Bethune's clear in front. 1.9 seconds away. Out in front. It's a good margin for the man from Auckland. They'll get the last lap board this time around. One remains for the 32. 
McBride's got Walker on the back bumper. Here comes down Walker down the inside at turn one. McBride's going to look for the crossover out of turn one. It's a drag race down to turn two. I think McBride's in front. He's going to chop the door off. Closes the door on Darren Walker. Hangs on to second place. Matt McBride. Good driving. Walker will be looking way past. He's got one more opportunity here at turn five. Can he make it, make it stick? McBride's gone defensive, but it's a race win for Bethune. There's a bit of contact. McBride's going to pick up second place. Walker's going to come home third in the third, three NZ. Then it's the 88 of Mayo, the 54 of Kevin Storr in fifth. Mac Connolly will be sixth. Cameron Hill seventh in the 43 cart. Then it's Glenn Ellis. Ray Cook in the 16. Vic Ramson in the number 55 will come home 10th. Then Wakefield 11. Mark Taylor in the 83 cart will be 12th. And Darren Johnson comes home in 13th spot. So another win for Beth Yoon. A second place for McBride. A third for Walker. Great result for Daniel Mayle. Up next, the big bangers, the KZ2s. One of my favourite categories. Just love this racing, it's so hard and fast. There we go, that was uh, Rotax DD2. So we've got KZ2 up next, then we're going to go Ju Rotax Max Jr. Then we'll be back to normal race order. So KZ2, brought to you by Danny Gelb, Employment Law Advocacy. I love this category. 140 kilometres an hour, standing starts, six speed gearbox, no drop down nose cones. Bring it, I love it. But from the pole position, again, will be the 24 of Graham Smythe. Out qualified J.U. and he had an issue in the first race. I believe the clutch was slipping in the first race. That's why he pulled off early because it was just smoking the clutch. So they've changed the, uh, changed the engine over now, so hopefully uh, J.U. will be back at the front. So Graham Smythe, the 24 cart, will lead us away. J.U. will start from position one, uh, position two. Three NZ. Josh Parkinson will start out of P3. Emerson Vincent from P4. Vincent had a good run in the first heat, got home in second place. One row back on row three, Jacob Cranston will start from P5. Regan Hall will start out of P6 in the 93 cart. Luke Thompson from P7 in the 31. Then it's Donovan Gray alongside from position eight in the 92. Oscar Jackson and Nathan Crang will share row five. Blake Corrin, the 99 cart, and Jason Lee will share row six. Raymond Malin will start from position 13. Alongside is the five of Michael Adolph. Mitchell Corrin, the 41 card out of P15. The number 12 of Chris Cox will start from position 16. Row 9 is David Malcolm and Miles Finley. Position 19, Andrew Grant and Jay Murray from Australia in the number 33. And George Sampson will start from P21 in the number 16 card. We didn't see George in the first race, had an issue, didn't make the start. Looking forward to this Danny Gold Employment Law Advocacy KZ2s. Danny Gelb, the employment law specialist. 0800 help me is the phone number. If you've got an issue in your workplace and you need some support, check out Danny Gelb online. He's a justice of the peace as well. So go and catch up with Danny. If you've got some problems you need to talk through, he'll help you out. But KZ2, the premier class of karting in New Zealand, ready to turn it on for 15 laps here. Riding up these KZs, Graham Smythe from the pole. Keep an eye on J.U. and they've got that, hopefully that clutch is fixed now with a new engine for the number one NZ. They're keen to get on, we've had a couple of false starts in the previous round of KZ2. Nathan Crane's going around again for some reason. Not sure what the issue is there. Everyone's looking at each other going, what happened there? 
But Krang's going round again for some reason. Not sure if Krang's going to the pits or whether he's coming around the track. Krang's off from the pits. So that's the loss of Nathan Krang. So that's uh, Nathan Krang, the 62, he's off into the pits. Bit of confusion there as he rocketed past the start. Here we go again. Got our flag girl out there in the green with the green flag. Bellata, who's going to be rear of field for these KZs to get him underway. Smythe, Irwin front row. Parkinson, Vincent second row. Cranston, Le Regan Hall, row three. Then it's the 31 of Thompson and Donovan Gray. We've got a couple of gaps. We've lost Oscar Jackson and Nathan Krang. Green flag. Here we go, ready for a start now. Watch the lights as they count up like Formula One. One light, two, three, four, lights out. Great start, Graham Smythe. Poor start at the back by the number 41 of Mitchell Corrin. Smythe jumps to the lead. Then it's Jay Irwin, Josh Parkinson, Emerson Vincent. That's your top four. Cranston's up there in five. So it's a Sodi three, four, five. Graham Smythe will lead us around through turn four. They'll wind these things up as they get up to turn five. Hard on the brakes, front and rear brakes, working hard. In the KZs, down they'll come, 130 Ks an hour at the end of the straight. Smythe leads. Second place is Jay Irwin. Then it's Joshua Parkinson, Emerson Vincent, Josh, uh, Jacob Cranston, the 93 of Regan Hall. He's back there in sixth place. Then it's Luke Thompson. Jason Lee, Donovan Gray, and Raymond Malins your top 10 in the number 34 cart. But Graham Smythe in control. Here comes Parkinson just making a brake bias adjustment as he comes down into turn one. Just adjusting the bias on the uh, brake balance in front of the cart. Parkinson looks inside. Ooh, and slams the doors. There's no way, buddy, not through there. So you watch for these youngsters. and oh, Parkinson looks to the inside, pulls back in. The two and Parkinson, Vincent, the three youngsters, going to take it to the master, Graham Smythe. They're just trying to sort themselves out first. Parkinson will look to the inside. There he goes down the inside. Josh Parkinson's going to pick up P2. Irwin closes the door. All it's doing is holding up Parkinson and Vincent. Cranston in fourth place. Irwin hasn't got the pace we'd expect. Smythe's just driving off into the distance. The lead is seven tenths of a second at the moment. Graham Smythe over the youngster, Jay Irwin, the current national champion. Then we go back to Josh Parkinson in third place. Vincent, the number 10, still four. Then it's Cranston. Got a traffic jam behind him. Down the inside, Thompson goes on. Regan Hall. Can Thompson get through? Not quite. Regan Hall closes the door. Jason Lee all over the back of Thompson now as they smash the gears up through the gearbox into two. Round they'll go again. Smythe's got a decent lead. He's over a second away from Jay Irwin. Vincent and Parkinson are going to scrap it out for third place. So do teammates. Then it's Jacob Cranston next in the queue, the number nine. Back in fifth place. And in sixth place is the 93 of Regan Hall. The 18 of David Malcolm down the inside of Chris Cox at turn one. And Malcolm make that move stick. Managed to get past Chris Cox. Hey, Smythe, well in control out in front. Just got the pace that Irwin can't quite match. Then it's the three of Parkinson, the 10 of Vincent, the nine of Cranston, the 93 of Regan Hall's your top six. A bit further back, we've got a couple of battles up and down the field. We've got the 16 of Sampson, having a good old scrap there with Mitchell Corrin and Jay Murray and Chris Cox. So Smythe, eight laps to go. Almost through, halfway through this race. Down they'll come again to complete lap eight. No change in the order, it's still Smythe leads Irwin. 
from Parkinson, then Vincent, Cranston, Hall, J uh, Luke Thompson, Jason Lee, Raymond Malin, Donovan Gray. And back to the minor placings of Blake Corrin, David Malcolm, Mitchell Corrin, Michael Adolf, Chris Cox, Jay Murray, and George Sampson. So seven to go now for Smythe. The laps. Still not able to make much of an imp impression on the uh, the gap between first and second. Still just over a second between Smythe and Irwin. And it's back to Parkinson and Vincent. Then a big gap. Back to Jacob Cranston in fifth place. It's about three seconds. Back to Cranston. Fastest slap that time around. Still Graham Smythe out in front. 27-8, 1-0. Round and round we'll go. Oh, there's a bit of a challenge down the uh, outside there. Turn two. Number five of Adolf with Corrin and David Malcolm having a good old scrap. That field's condensed right up at the rear of field. Keep an eye on that battle. Racing for sheep stations at the rear of field. No one wanting to give an inch. Too much testosterone. Now the 41 of Ray Mitchell Corrin having a good old scrap. With the 33 cart of Jay Murray, our Australian visitor. All to go for Graham Smythe, the Goobies is affectionately known. No change in the order. With four to go. Too. Hope you're enjoying this at home, folks. These carts are fast. They look faster in person than they do on TV. And they look faster on TV. Three for Smythe. Three for Irwin. Three for Parkinson. And Emerson Vincent. And then it's Jacob Cranston in fifth place. Regan Hall will be sixth in the 93 cart. Fastest lap belongs to Josh Parkinson, but that time around, the quickest on track was Graham Smythe out in front. Two to go. Smythe continues to lead, build that. It's 1.4 seconds now over Jay Irwin, your current national champion. In the three NZ of Parkinson, sitting in position three. There's a challenge down the inside, George Sampson at turn one in the 16 cart. Gets the job done. Picks up the 12 of Chris Cox. Chris Cox at rear of field. Last lap board is out now. Danny Galvin, employment law advocacy, KZ2. One to go for Graham Smythe. One for Jay Irwin. And the three of Parkinson still sitting in third place. Emerson Vincent just dropped off the pace. Can't match the pace of the boys up front. Here we go. It's another race win for Graham Smythe. That's two from two for the man in the number 24. Second's going to go to Irwin. Third place will go to Josh Parkinson. Fourth will be Emerson Vincent, the number 10. Then it's the nine of Jacob Cranston. And rounding out the top six, the 93 of Regan Hall. There you have it, folks. That's KZ2. Brought to you by Danny Galb, Employment Law Advocacy. So it's Smythe, Irwin, Parkinson, Vincent, Cranston, Hall, Luke Thompson, Jason Lee, Raymond Malin, Donovan Gray, Blake Corrin, Michael Adolf, David Malcolm, Jay Murray, Mitchell Corrin, George Sampson and Chris Cox in 17th. We lost Miles Finley, Andrew Grant, and of course we didn't see the start by Nathan Crang and Oscar Jackson. And by my calculations, we should have made this visit to the detention centre. Hopefully we've got it all sorted out now.
So next up, after the Misery Wagons bought that card in, we'll have International Cart Supplies, Rotex Max Jr. After that um, disagreement in the stewards room. International Cart Supplies, of course, owned and run by Matthew Kinsman. Multiple national champion. Won the 23 Rotex Max Grand Final in Bahrain last year. And unfortunately was relegated post-race with a nose cone penalty to second place. Still a winner in our eyes, so in my view, the winner of the World, uh, world Final last year in Bahrain. He's an 18-time New Zealand title holder, 10-time New Zealand sprint, 5-time North Island sprint champion, 3-time three, three winner of the CIK Trophy in New Zealand. Fantastic man. Great engine driver, engine builder, driver trainer, cart supplier and setup master. International Cart Supplies. They're based in Glen Eden. Easy to find. Go and talk to Matt down in the pits. You'll see all the bright orange soda carts sitting down there. Go and have a chat. Introduce yourself. See what Matt can do to help you go faster, as he has done for so many drivers. In fact, instigated the majority of the career of Lawson, our latest Formula One driver. Liam raced for international cart supplies in the Saudi New Zealand team for a number of years. And Matt Kinsman had a hand in his career development. So Matt, he knows what he's doing. Go talk to him down there in the pits. Part of the Kinsman family. Been around karting for a million years and experts at what they do. International Cart Supplies, Rotax Max Jr. up next. Out the gate we come. Rotex Max Jr. Led away by the 88 of Miles Baker. Lost a wheel in the first heat. He'll be looking to make amends for that. Alongside Marco Manson. Baker and Manson both qualified. First and second in DBS Jr. Rotex Max Jr. No mean feat. So the 69 of Manson will start from P2. From position three, Jamie Thompson. And it's the 68 of Maximum Kerwin. Row three, Amelia Phillips and Harrison Zhao. Row four, Charlie Jamison, Connor Brody. From ninth, the 33 of Scott McDonald and the 97 of Carson Daly will start out of 10. Row six, Cy Finnamore and Zach Tucker from the South Island. Grayson Stowe and Cooper Inslee will share row seven. From position 15 will be William Edmondson. Alongside this 47 of Aaron Lala. Lachlan Tomlinson from P17. Amelia Carter, the 19 cart from P18. Rocky Teen from 19, Sam Wang out of position 20. Dylan Brangman starts from row 11 in position 21 alongside Maya Forrest. Then it's the row 12 pairing of Jack Phillips and Ethan Holland. 13th row will be Jackson Wilkinson and Kobe Barnes. Jet Price will start out of 27, Jack Morris from 28. The 18 of Ben Gormack will start from 29, Campbell Owens from 30. And the rear of the grid, we've got the 41 of Finlay White and the 28 of Levi Mitchell making up a 32-strong field for Rotax Max Jr. Proudly supported by International Cart Supplies, your go-to karting shop. 15 laps about to get going here. Thompson won the first heat, followed by the 11 of Zach Tucker. What's going to happen this time? Keep an eye on the lights. IKS, Rotex Max Jr. Here we go racing. Oh, someone's got their hand up. It's the 87 of Brangwind. Not sure what the issue is for the number 87. But Dylan Brangwind, there's a couple on the grass. They're all back on track now. A fair bit of dirt flying down there in the number seven of Campbell Owens. Flicking up some mud and dirt. Thompson's jumped out to the early lead. Oh, there's contact at turn one, turn two. Up the carts turned around. They're all going again now. Someone's lost a nose cone. 
So Jamie Thompson's going to lead us around the North Island champ. Then Amelia Phillips jumped up to second place. She's fast, the lady from the Manawatu. Marco Manson just dive bombs down in turn two, a uh, turn one. Phillips goes back about five places. So Manson now carving his way through the field. After a poor start, dropped a few places, now making his way back through. Thompson leads us around the North Island champ from Baker, the 88. Then it's Marco Manson, the 69. No, it's not, it's Maxim Kerwin. I better get that right. Then it's the 82 of Harrison Zhao. Round they'll go. Still 13 laps to run in this Rotax Max Junior Heat 2. So it's Thompson leads Baker. Then it's Kerwin. Harrison Zhao, Phillips. Cy Finnamore, Scott McDonald. Marco Manson, Charlie Jamison in the 97 of Carl Daly makes the top 10. This time around, Thompson leads. Baker, Kerwin, Zhao, Phillips, Finnamore. The 33 McDonald under pressure from Daly. Daly slices down the inside and picks up a spot. So Daly up to eight, McDonald back to nine. Then it's the 13 of Charlie Jamison making the top 10. Just trying to sort the order out now. Rotax Max Jr. Jamie Thompson's bolted though, he's out of here. 30.794 last time around for Jamie Thompson, your North Island champion. 30.393, fastest lap of the race for our race leader. Then in second place, still Baker, then it's Kerwin, Zhao, Amelia Phillips, Cy Finnamore in sixth place. That's your top six glued together. Next in the queue, Marco Manson, the 69 car from Auckland. Older brother racing Formula Ford this weekend. Down in Timaru. Ten to go for the race leader, North Island champ Jamie Thompson. What a great sight, the number eight cart of Ethan Holland scorching past in that gold livery. Looks fantastic. Cooper Insley in there, the number 39. Sitting down the field a bit in 16th place. Bit of a battle at turn two at the moment between the 18 cart of Ben Gormack and Kobe Barnes. Someone's lost the nose comb, but they're off the track. At the moment, I'm pretty sure that was Jet Price in the number 85. The field looking energized. Inslee just helping, help, giving a helping hand at the number 17 of Jack Phillips. Through turn two, Arian Lala's in there as well. Oh, we've got one off at the exit of turn seven. Can't see who that is from here. I think it's number 23. No, it's not. There's no number 23. It's the number 13 cart of Charlie Jamison. Parked up in the bags at the exit of turn six. Back up front, Thompson just leading a great race. Just set the fastest lap of the race with a 29.979. The only driver in the 29 seconds now. North Island champ Jamie Thompson from Auckland, sponsored by Drive Shaft New Zealand. Baker in second, still Maxim Kerwin in third. Then we go back to the 82 of Harrison Zhao. The fast, first of our fast females, Amelia Phillips, the number four, sitting back in fifth place. Cy Finnamore shadowing her. Round through turn two and three. Here comes Marco Manson, just set the fastest lap of the race. Manson now, keen to get on with this and get back to the front. Manson got a fifth place in the first one, but after that discussion in the, in the teacher's principal's room, I'm not sure if that's changed any of the order. Thompson's comfortable in front, black and white flag for cart 17, Jack Phillips from the Manawa too. Not sure what that was for, but he's gonna pick up a black and white for his trouble. Still six to go. And that North Island champ, Jamie Thompson, Baker's led a good second place throughout all of this race. Started from the pole alongside Manson. Manson drifted back through the field after some contact. But here comes Manson. He's on a charge. Manson's now moved up. Back to fifth place, the 69 from Auckland. Then it's Amelia Phillips in seventh. In sixth place, to beg your pardon. Seventh is Cy Finnamore, the number 10. 
from Auckland, a local man, number 10, Si Finnamore, sitting in seventh place. Then we go back one to Scott McDonald in the 97 of Daly from Hamilton in ninth. Lachlan Thomas in the 98 cart in 10th place. Another black and white flag for cart 17. Jack Phillips. So Thompson still leading this race. From Miles Baker, Maxim Kuhn, Harrison Zhao, and Marco Manson. And Amelia Phillips in top six. Manson trying to work forward. Got past Phillips, now got Harrison Zhao in the sights with three to go. Not close enough to have a go at turn one, but Manson will try turn two. Zhao's over his shoulder, can see Manson sitting there in the number 69. Baker under some pressure now from Maxim Kerwin. Just a little bit of typewriter action on the rear bumper of the 88 car of Miles Baker. The gap officially 2.2 seconds from first to second place. Two to go for our race leader. Baker still back to Ben Kerwin, Zhao, Manson. Siphon has got past Amelia Phillips. Phillips down to seven, then it's Scott McDonald. Carson Daly is ninth in the 97. Lachlan Tomlinson takes your top 10. William Edmondson, just in 11th place, started from 15, got to 11. So last lap board this time for our race leader, Jamie Thompson. Here it is. There's only 658 metres to go. Manson's got past Harrison Zhao. Manson's back to fourth. Thompson's comfortable in front, then it's Baker. Maxim Curran. I don't think Kerwin's close enough to have a go at Baker. But there's still a couple of corners to go. Lala just drifted off the track. They lost a couple of spots. I'm not sure what happened with Aaron Lala. There's a bit of biffo going on through turns two and three. But it's a race win for Jamie Thompson. Two from two for the North Island champ. Then it's Miles Baker in the 88 car, followed by the 68 of Max. Fourth place will go to the 69 of Marco Manson. That's good redemption for Miles Baker after losing a wheel in the first race. Maxim Kerwin's going to come home in third place. The 69 of, 69 of Manson in fourth. Harrison Dow will pick up fifth place. And Cy Finnamore's going to make a top six for the number 10. International Kart Supplies, Rotex Max Jr. Getting it on here at Kart Sport Auckland 2024. All in Spa Maintenance, City of Sale Championship. So his recovery just picks up the uh, stricken cart down there of, uh, I think that's Charlie Jamison, the number 13. About ready to head out the gate. Strata Networks, Cadet Rock. Heat two. First race won convincingly by Ivor Spence, current national champion. I beg your pardon, it wasn't. It was Dominic Evers won the first race. Got that wrong. Ivor Spence was second. It was a good old ding-dong battle between them and Joey Joe. That's right, the number 66. Ryan Healy was fourth. And Nico Thomason in the 34 with Toby Thompson. So heading out the gate this time will be led away by the 1NZ of Ivor Spence. 
Alongside from P2 will be the 34 of Toby Thompson. Then Joey Joe's going to start from P3 in the 66 cart. Alongside the nine national schools champ Dominic Evers. Ryan Healy and Reed Phillips will share row three. Nico Thomas and Bray Milne will share row four. On position nine, the 45 of Taylor Costello. Alongside the 22 of Elliot Armstrong, out of position 10. Timmy Brock will start from P11. Isa Rankin from Taranaki will start from P12. On P13, the Taranaki man, Sam Amon, the number 74. Alongside in 14th will be the 18 of Reese Gaskin. Alex Craig will start from 15th. Alexander Cunningham from position 16 in the 32. Van Walker from six, uh, 17th in the 69. Alongside will be the 35 of Nico Houston from Rotorua. From 19th, Zahn Twilly. Max Turner out of P20. And from 21st, Briella Roberts. Get Rock. Six to ten years of age, about to ignite on the track here. Uh, those on the live stream at home, just remember these drivers are very, very young, but highly experienced. Just watch them go, they, they just will put on a show for us like you wouldn't believe. Fifteen laps coming up. Can Ivor Spence get a race win? Battled hard with Evers in heat one. So Strata Network's your hard-working IT specialists, proudly supporting Cadet Rock. If you need some IT support, call 0800 950 794. Remember that number, 0800 950 794. If you want IT support, call Strata Networks. They do voice over IP, network solutions. They manage your wireless, software development, anything to do with Cisco products. Strata Networks, there you go to IT crowd. Hope you're enjoying the live stream at home, folks. It's our pleasure to bring it to you. Anyone's making a batch of scorns, they live local, bring them down. Oh, we've got one turned around over there, looks like they'll go to rear of field, whoever that is. We'll get their number as they come past. Assisted class, so that's why parents are out on the track to help their youngsters get back on. Oh, it's the 20 of Indy Irwin. Oh, Briella Roberts, I beg your pardon. Indy Irwin's in Vortex Mini Rock, wrong class. So Briella Roberts just turned it around on the warm-up lap, so she'll have to start from rear of field. Keep an eye on the young man at the front, the one NZ of Ivor Spence out of the WKS cart store shop in Wellington Matthew Hamilton and John Hamilton down there produced a number of New Zealand and international champions I don't know what it is in the water in Christchurch but whatever it is I wish they could replicate it up here produced a number of champions the Marcus Armstrongs of this world Matt Hamilton himself a very accomplished racer out of the South Island Raced every category going, even had a crack at Indy cars. Let's wait for Briella Roberts to catch up. They may have to go around one more time. Not sure she'll catch up quick enough. Looks like they're going to go once more. Get the uh, living sorted out. Hopefully they won't take off and leave a to catch up. So this is heat two for Cadet Rock. With me, I've got Chief Operating Officer of uh, Cartsport New Zealand, James Hadley. James, what do you make of the racing so far? Yeah, it's been brilliant. It's obviously any time we can come to Cartsport Auckland and have um, City of Sales with such big numbers, it's a pretty awesome sight for uh, anyone here to watch. And uh, have you been talking to the drivers and had any feedback on the brand new tyre that we've got this year? And uh, if you have, what, what's the thoughts out there? Yeah, so far the feedback seems good. It seems to last a, a little bit longer than what they've had in, um, previously in the last sort of seven years. So, um, yeah, no real complaints and everyone seems to be enjoying it. It seems to be evolving quite well. Well, just looking at the times when the track's dry, the times are really fast, so that new tyre is obviously producing a bit of speed for the new drivers. Can't wait to watch these Cadet Rocks. Um, if you were them, what would you be doing right now? Uh, just staying calm and having a, having a crack. I mean, you've uh, got to survive the weekend to have a play in the final. So, um, yeah, good luck to them all. Well, I hope they can hear that. That's good advice from our CEO, James Hadley. Thanks for that. We'll just get, get set for this race here. Ivor Spence is going to lead us away for Cadet Rock. Heat two. Oh, a bit of biff and bash. As they get lined up, winding these things up now. Here we go, lights out. Strata Networks, Cadet Rock. Oh, there's a bit of side-by-side -side action. The number six there, giving a bit of hip and shoulder to the 98 card. I think that's, uh, no, not 98, but someone in there. Oh, there's someone on the grass as well. I think uh, that's Bray Milne, the number seven, getting shuffled around there. Oh, one off on the grass. That's the 61 card of Zahn Twilly. And the 35 of Houston involved in that, I think, as well.
But here we go, Spence leads us around, got a decent margin in the opening lap. Just looking to see who's in second place at the moment. Around they'll come, it's the two NZ of Ryan Healy. Then it's Joey Zhou in third, under pressure from the 34 of Toby Thompson. Thompson goes down the inside, Joe's going to lose two spots. But going to fight back, here comes Dominic Evers, keeping on turn two, Joey Zhou's on the inside, Evers, bit of contact. Just shot his nose off a bit, Joey Zhou was very gentlemanly, let him go. To avoid the contact, so Ivor Spence leads. Ryan Healy in second spot. Then it's, oh, we've got one dribbled off at uh, Clubhouse Corner as well. I think that's the six of Reed Phillips. Spence, Healy, one, two, then National Schools champ in three. Then it's Toby Thompson, Joey Joe, Elliot Armstrong in there as well. It was the six of Reed Phillips, got his ears boxed coming out of uh, Clubhouse Corner. Oh, there's a couple knotted together at the exit of uh, turn one as well, one up on the grass. These are going every direction here. So that was the uh, 69 of Van Walker and the 32 of Alexander Cunningham got together at the exit of turn two. There's a black and white for card 89. That's Timmy Brock. And that was the 72 of Kaiser Rankin that was doing a bit of lawn mowing at the top of Death Valley. In the little number, uh, what card see? Uh, 72. Around we go again, still 12, 12 laps to go. They've, uh, just getting into a rhythm now. Spence well under control of this field. National Schools champ Dominic Evers going to try and hunt him down. Evers picked him up and passed him in the first heat. Spence won't be keen to let that be repeated. So it's Spence, Evers, Thompson, Joe, Healy. Then it's the 22 cart of Elliot Armstrong. Armstrong just been bombed down the uh, turn one there by Nico Thomason. He's just snuck in front of the 22 cart. Then we go back to the 45 of Taylor Costello and Timmy Brock. In the 89 cart, having a good old battle. Here comes a black and white for the 32 of Alexander Cunningham. I'm picking that was for that uh, melee that down in turn one. So fastest on the track at the moment is the race leader, Ivor Spence. With a 35-1-2-1 pace on the young driver. Lap record round here is 34-4. Now the track's nice and dry. There's a possibility we could get down to lap record times with this new tyre later on in the day. A lot of it depends on the tide out in the estuary there as to what sort of speed you can get on the track. Round and round will circulate. Spence crosses the line with nine to go. The official gap from first to second, which is National Schools champ Dominic Evers, 1.8 seconds. Decent gap. Then we go back to the 34 of Toby Thompson. Joey Joe hanging on there in fourth place. Ryan Healy not got the pace he had in the first one. Healy picked up a fourth place, sitting in fifth at the moment, and started from P5. Not quite moved forward like perhaps Ryan Healy would like the 2NZ. Spence now just navigating some back markers. It's the 35 of Houston, so Spence just slices past down into turn one. Houston lets him go, gets out of the way. 1.7 seconds back to Dominic Evers. Then we go back to Toby Thompson. You can throw a blanket over. Look at this into turn two now. The 97 of Thomason, Healy, and Elliot Armstrong having a little arm wrestle in three turns two and three. Now down through four, this lap traffic could play a part in this position. Position five, six, and seven. Keep an eye on this one, but Spence has got clear track ahead of him with seven to run. Strata Networks, Cadet Rock. Circulating around, spread right out the field now. 1.5 seconds back to Dominic Evers. Evers a tenth quicker that time around. Is he going to run out of laps? He's halfway through, got seven to go. Thompson now the fastest lap of the race in third place. The number 34, 35.009. Six tenths away from the lap record. The pace is heating up here now. Here comes Spence in the WKS Illuminos cart. Then it's Evers, Thompson, Zhao. 
Nico Thomason, Ryan Healy. Houston just gets out of the way as Evers powers down into turn two. Houston stays wide. That's good driving from the number 35 in Rotorua. They're still racing. But Spence has got a nice clear track for the next six laps. Eyes are ranking in front. Joey Joe keen to get past as he watches Kobe Thompson drive off in the distance. Here comes Joey Joe down the inside. Houston's not going to let him go. There's contact. Houston, the back marker now, just cost Joey Joe a spot. The 97 of Nico Thomason capitalising. Ryan Healy's going to pick up Joey Joe too. So Joe's lost two spots due to the back marker, just not quite getting out of the way quick enough. Still Spence leads with four to go. Joe now gets past the 35. He's got to try and catch and pass Healy and Nico Thomason in front of him. It's unfortunate. So Spence comes around with three to go now as he crosses the line. Then it's Dominic Evers, Toby Thompson, Nico Thomason, Ryan Healy, Joey Joe. Joe's had good pace. Best, best laps are 35 flat. That's only a tenth off the fastest. A little bit of work to do now. So the top six is Spence, Evers, Thompson, Thomason, Healy, Joe. Then we go back to Elliot Armstrong, Timmy Brock, Taylor Costello, Max Turner is your top ten. Reed Phillips and Bray Milne just outside the top ten in 11th and 12th. Three to go. Our race leader. Dominic Evers looks over his right shoulder. Knows Thompson's right there. Can't make any mistakes now with a couple to go. 74 of Amon, down in 13th, 13th place. That's where he started from, not able to make an impact, the number 74 from Taranaki. Up for the last second and last time, Ivor Spence about to pick up Kaiser Rankin. Rankin looking over his shoulder, here we go, the blue flags are waving. Rankin moves over, let's Spence through. Then it's Evers, Toby Thompson, Rankin's going to race the race leader. Then it's the 20 of Briella, next in the queue for Spence to sneak past, blue flags waving. It's going to be a race win for Ivor Spence. It's a second and a win for the number one NZ. Put your hands together folks, great drive, remember these drivers are between 6 and 10 years of age. That's a race win for the number one NZ. Second's going to go to National Schools champ Dominic Evers. Toby Thompson's going to be third. Nico Thomason's coming home in fourth place. Then it's Joey Joe in fifth. And sixth place goes to the two NZ of Ryan Healy. Seventh will be Elliot Armstrong. Timmy Brock in eighth. Taylor Costello comes home nine. And Brain Hill Milne will come home in ten. With Max Turner in eleven. Reed Phillips twelve. Sam Amon thirteen. Reese Gaskin 14 and Alex Craig, that's the top 15 for Strata Networks, Cadet Rock, Heat 2, Run and Done. A bit of discussion going on in the background after that race. For those at home who are not quite sure, Cadet Rock, 6 to 10 years of age, has to keep it from these young drivers. The only country in the world you can get a cart license so young and start your racing career. So coming up next, Urban Performance Rotax Max Light. Fantastic uh, sponsor for this category, Ryan Urban, one of the most accomplished cart racers in the country. 2006 World Supercart Champion, 12 time New Zealand Supercart Champ, 6 time North Island Supercart Champ. 11-time New Zealand Sprint champ, 
nine time North Island champ, so you don't doesn't get much better than that. Uh, I went and googled Ryan Urban and I had to spill his accomplishments over onto two pages on my sheet in front of me. Such is the uh, experience of this guy. Um, he runs a cart shop, Urban Performance, sponsoring this category. Go and talk to him if you want to go fast. He can certainly help you. Anything you might need. Rotax Max Light. Here we go, folks. Led away by Ashton Phipps, the number 42. Alongside the 63 of Ryan Crombie. Crombie picked up the race win in heat two, heat one. Phipps was second. Starting from position three, the 25 of Chris Benton. Then we've got the 53 of Ethan Church. Row three is Kian Burt and Cameron Hill. Then we go back to row four, which is Jake Millen and the 97 of Ryan Bell. On position nine, Josh Richmond. Tenth is Matthew Thompson, uh, Johnston. Tyler Edney will start from 11. Draper from 12. Row seven is Miles Finney and New Zealand champ Kelly Cross. Crossy um, uncharacteristic down in the 14th place. Then it's the 92 of Lachlan Stambra and Hero Sheridan on row eight. Lucas McGill and Henry Gelb will start from row nine. Ollie Workman from the South Island will start out at a 19th position. Divum Taylor from 20. Tom Kleinsman from 21. The 44 of Casey Lett out of position 22. Olivia Lorenzen and Cody Noble share row 12. Patrick Holmes will start the 14 cart from position 25. Ian Smith from 26. Mento Haggart will start from 27. Ali Hewitt from 28. Ryan Higgins 29. 29 of Daniel Shaw will start from P30. The number 47 of Daniel Coleman from position 31. Here we go, folks. Strap yourselves in. Make sure your dentures are nice and tight, especially those at home. Got a cup of tea. Sit down and watch this race. It's going to be fantastic. As we get ready for a start here for Urban Performance Rotax Max Light, building the revs. Lights out. Great start by the 43 cart of Cameron Hill around the outside. At turn one, can they all get through cleanly? Phipps is going to lead us. Crombie in the second place. Crombie's going to look to go right around the outside again like he did in the first race. Can't get it done. So it's Phipps is going to lead Crombie. The 63. One turn around. That's Ian Smith, the number 10. There's a bit of contact there from the 27 of Ryan Higgins as well. A bit of contact at turn two. Crombie's got past. So it's the 63 of Crombie leading now. Then it's Phipps in second place. Cameron Hill third. They barrel into turn one. Down into turn two they'll go. Chris Benton's now jumped up to third place ahead of Cameron Hill. Then it's the seven of Kian Burt. Back in sixth place. Jake Millen seven. Josh Richmond is eight. Round will go. Crombie still leads in the 63 car. Had a stint at circuit racing with Team Kiwi Racing in the BMW series. Now back to go-karts. So up to turn one goes Crombie. Used to hold the lap record here. And Vortex Mini Rock. Done plenty of laps around here. Ryan Crombie, the number 63. Fastest lap that time, 30.4. Pips in the CRG trying to hang on to Crombie. Then it's Chris Benton, Cameron Hill. 12 to go. Urban performance, Rotax Max Light. Cameron Hill looks to the inside. Can't make the move on Chris Benton. Benton up on the grass. That's compromised his exit speed. Here comes Cameron Hill around the outside at turn two. Hill can't make that move stick. Burt's sitting there waiting to pounce as well, the number seven. One more back. Ethan Church, the 53 cross. Caleb Cross. Oh, we've got contact at turn two. Two park around the wrong way. The number six of Miles Finley into the side of the 40 cart of Hero Sheridan. They'll go to the rear field. A black and white for cart seven which is Kian Burt, as they thunder past the start-finish line. Cross has now got himself up to 7th place, which is a good effort starting way down the field in 14th. So Caleb Cross moving forward. Bromby still leads fastest lap of the race that time by for the number 63, 29.886. Across the line they'll go Phipps in 2nd place, then it's Cameron Hill, Ethan Church, Kian Burt and the 25 card of Chris Benton. Slicing and dicing each other down at turn one. Burt's now got past Church again. So Church drifts back to sixth place. 
to fifth place. Chair and Bert goes to fourth. Across the line will come Ryan Crombie this time around to complete lap 10, uh, lap 5. 10 to go for the 63. Then it's the 42 of Phipps. Hill, Burt, Church, Benton, Cross, Josh Richmond. Thundering around, great pace. 29.933 that time around. 0.8 seconds from first to second. Then it's another two seconds back to third place, 43, Cameron Hill. Just launching across the curbs to maximise straight line speed. Eight to go for Crombie. Further back in the field. Ryan Bell moving forward in the number 97. Jake Millen is 10th in the number 5. Tyler Edney 11, Matthew Johnson 12. You'd expect these guys to be up further up the front. It's all about qualifying well in this format. Around will go again. Crombie just keeps peeling laps off. 29-8 last time by. 29-7 that time. Fastest lap of the race for Ryan Crombie out in front. Cart just starting to hit the sweet spot. So it's Crombie, Phipps, Hill, Kian Burt, Church. Cross has got forward as well. Got back, Cart's backed up behind Caleb Cross though. Josh Richmond, Jake Millen, Ryan Bell, Tyler Edney. All energised, wanting to get past. Hoping there's nothing uh, crazy going to go on here. So Crombie still leads Phipps for 1.1 seconds. Then we go back another 2.2 seconds to Cameron Hill in front of Kian Bird in fourth place. Then it's Ethan Church in the Sodi cart, number 53 in fifth. Back to Chris Benton, they've broken away. Caleb Cross has got some work to do to try and catch these boys. He's not quite quick enough, he's half a second off the pace. Caleb Cross, the national champion, struggling to get uh, around the head around the tyre. So we're two thirds through this urban performance, Rotax Max Light, Heat 2. Here at Spa and Pool Maintenance, City of Sales Championship for 2024 at Giltrap Group Raceway here in Cartsport, Auckland. Rosebank Domain. Hope you're enjoying the live stream. And the number 40, Hero Sheridan, just pulling off the track down there at Turn 1. He's got an issue. So that's the end of the race for the number 40 car of Hero Sheridan. The round will come again. It's still Crombie leads from Ashton Phipps. Cameron Hill in third place. Jan Burt, the number seven, in fourth. Then it's the 53 of Church. Church has got Chris Benton on the back bumper. Burt's now stuck in front. Burt's actually gone behind Church, I beg your pardon, with three to go. So it's Crombie. Leads Ashton Phipps, 1.3 seconds. Then it's Cameron Hill, Ethan Church, Kian Burt, Chris Benton. That's the top six. The next queue is Caleb Cross, Ryan Bell, Jake Millen, the 96 of Josh Redmond, Tyler Edme, Matthew Johnson, Lewis Draper. Big queue forming behind Caleb Cross. Bell's going to put it down the inside. Going to look for the crossover. Can Ryan Bell straight line Caleb Cross down the end of turn one? So Crossy and Bell signaling to each other to work together and keep moving forward. It looks like it's every man for himself. They're not keen to work together. Here comes Millen down the inside of Bell at turn two. Millen can't make the move. So it's Cross, Bell, Millen. Their own little, fat, little fight for seventh, eighth and ninth. Oh, a bit of contact at turn four. Bell's looking for a way past Cross. Can't get it done. Cross holding everyone up. Can Caleb Cross get past? Bell and Cross having a good old ding-dong down there into turn one. Bell looks for the crossover, here it comes. Can he drag race him into turn two? Can Bell get around the outside? Thinks better of it. So Bell pulls him behind Cross. Cross hasn't got the pace of Bell. But it's the last lap board race win for Ryan Crombie. Cart 63, he's gonna take the race win. Second place is gonna go to the 42 of Ashton Phipps. Third will be Cameron Hill, fourth Ethan Church. The seven of Kian Burt's gonna come home in fifth place. In sixth place, the 25 of Chris Benton. Then it's gonna be Caleb Cross. 
Bit of gesticulating there from Ryan Bell. Not sure he's completely happy. In the 51 of Tyler Edney will be ninth. Josh Richmond, the 96 cart, will come home in 10th place. Well, what a freak, uh, race that was. So there'll be a bit of discussion, I'm sure, about that one. But no denying Ryan Crombie hit the pace on the field. That's from one by one and a half seconds over Ashton Phipps. Third place was the 43 cart of Cameron Hill. Then it was Ethan Church in the 53. Dan Burke come home in fifth place to number seven. And Chris Benton rounded out the top six in cart number 25. As the recovery vehicle just uh, picks up the recovered cart and heads back to the pits. That's it. We made it through round two, folks. Last round for the afternoon of all the categories. So first up, the Heat 3, CRG New Zealand, Vortex DVS Junior, Heat 3. Proudly supported by CRG New Zealand. Based in Howick, Wayne and uh, Bridget Phipps, the uh, New Zealand importer of the CRG brand cart. So right, the full range from 950 Cadet right through to the 1030 adult size cart. They've got a bunch of drivers, they're building their team nicely. They've got seven at the moment, they're looking for more. They want to join the CRG New Zealand team. Go and have a talk to Bridget or Wayne Phipps over in the pits. They're based in Howick. Keen to uh, help you get started on your kart racing career. So here we go again. Vortex DVS Junior. Proudly supported by CRG New Zealand Limited. Starting from the pole, the 88 of Miles Baker won the second heat. Had a DNF in the first one. Won the second heat. He'll start from the pole. Alongside will be the 69 of Marco Manson, our heat one race winner. We'll start from P2. From P3, the 97 of Carson Daly. Had a mixed afternoon so far. We've got a sixth in the last heat. So he'll be looking to uh, improve on that this time around. The number 97 of Carson Daly. From position four, the 68 of Maxim Kuhn and had a good afternoon so far. From position five will be the 12 of Sam, Sam Wang. Had a second in the previous one, so come from fifth to second. Then alongside the number 82 of Harrison Xiao. Lachlan Thomason will start the 98 car from P7. Then it's Lachlan Roberts from position eight. And Max Amon, the number 94 car, will start from P5. Amon ended up with the fifth last time around. Let's see what he can do from rear field. The man from Waverley. His grandfather out in the infield there. And Dad Chris hanging over the fence. I was teasing uh, Miles Baker's dad, Jeremy, before about uh, making sure the wheels are bolted on. I'm sure he's got them all tightened up this time.
We'll get them all formed up, ready for battle for Heat 3 this afternoon. The points from Heat 3, uh, the 1, 2 and 3, get added together to give us pre-final grids. And the points from that pre-final race will be added together to give grids for the final. And it's a winner-take-all final tomorrow afternoon. But in the meantime, let's focus on Heat 3. A Vortex DVS Junior, proudly supported by CRG New Zealand. Your premier kart brand. Beautiful orange go-karts. They go fast too. Ask Ashton Phipps. Double North Island champion. Here we go. Ready for a start now. Watch the lights for 15 laps of this race. Keep strapped in at home, folks. They start to wind them up. Baker, a great start. Manson alongside. Baker's going to lead into turn one. He has to look down the inside. Can't make the move. Drops back to third place. Manson down the inside of turn one, turn two on Baker. So Manson takes over the race lead, stamps his authority on this field early in the opening lap. So Manson goes to the front. Baker in second place, then it's Daly. Back in uh, third place, the 97 cart. They rustle around through turn six and seven. It is Manson, Baker, Daly. Then it's the 68 of Maxim Kerwin. Sam Wang is fifth, Harrison Jiao sixth. Tomlinson seven, Lachlan Roberts eight, and Max Amon is nine. Around they'll come again. The field not spreading out just yet. Early in this race, still 13 to go. Manson keen to get on with this, trying to build a lead already over Miles Baker in the 88 cart. Back in second place. Cross the line they'll go. Oh, there's a black and white flag for the 98 of Lachlan Tomlinson. The officials have seen something they're not happy with. So it's Manson leads Baker, then it's Daly, Kerwin, Wang, Zhao, Tombleson, then it's Roberts and Max Amon. That's your field. Rote a Vortex DVS Jr. Proudly supported by CRG New Zealand. Fastest on track. Marco Manson with a 30.6. Baker in the draft this time though. Around they'll come. Fastest that time, Miles Baker on track, 30.169. So Baker now found a bit of pace in the 88. Baker's looking to put the pressure on the Marco Manson machine in front, the 69 of Manson. Here goes Baker, looking to find a way past. Nice straight line and tidy through turn six and seven. Down into Death Valley they go. Baker just in the draft now. With the tractor beam on the 69 of Marco Manson. Again the fastest, Miles Baker in second place. Taking the 97 of Daly with him and Maxim Koo. And Daly now found the accelerator and starting to put the hammer down. Those at home probably don't appreciate the speed these carts are going. They're flying around this tight little track. Big long straights winding these DVS Junior carts up. Manson still leading from Baker. Baker driving nice smooth lines by comparison. Now Maxim Kerwin the fastest on track in fourth place. The top four have all joined together. A little mistake from Manson over turn three. The curb. Here comes Baker. Baker capitalised. There's nothing between them. Half a cart length. Baker's looking for a way past Marco Manson. Little mistake from Manson's all it takes. Here comes Baker. Nine to go. Daly right on the back bumper as well. This is starting to hot up. No change down further down the order with Wang, Tomlinson, Zhao, Roberts and Amon. Five seconds the gap from first to second, uh, first to last. But Baker applying the blowtorch to the back of the 69 cart of Marco Manson. Down they'll come into Death Valley again. Eight to go, not quite half race distance done. Manson absorbing the pressure. Amon's got past Lachlan Roberts. Now Max Amon putting his head down and trying to move forward. Oh, a bit of contact there. Turn two between Wang, Tomlinson and Zhao. But it all comes good. Manson still under pressure from Baker. Baker down the inside. Going to force the issue. So Baker goes through to the lead at turn five. So Baker now leads from Marco Manson. Then it's Daly and the 68 of, of Kerwin. Uh, Daly has a good look at the back of Manson's cart, but there's contact. 
That forces uh, a bit of a gap. Kerwin down the inside at two, taking over third position. Daly goes back to four after that contact at turn, turn one. Aker leads, then it's the 69 of Manson, the 68 of Kerwin, and the 97 of Daly. That's your top four. The next little group is Lachlan Thomason, Sam Wang, and Harrison Zhao. With six to go, Aker's just got to put his head down and keep focused on moving forward and staying in front. Fastest lap of the race belongs to Maxim Kerwin. Back in third place, 29.676. Three tenths off the lap record. Pace is starting to heat up now. Lap record's 29.3. Baker looks over his shoulder, knows Manson's just sitting there waiting for something to go wrong for Miles Baker. 29.571. Getting closer to that lap record time. Marco Manson that time the fastest on track in second place in the number 69. Hope you're enjoying this at home, folks, on the live stream. Baker leads Manson. Then it's Kerwin. Daly, that's your top four. They've broken away from the field with four to go. CRG New Zealand. Vortex DVS Jr. Driving a great race. Miles Baker showing composure. Not panicking. Daly just getting a bit ragged there. Either the cart's gone off or he's just pushing a bit too hard. He's just settled into a rhythm, the number 97. And it's Tomlinson, Wang and Zhao. A bit further back to Amon and Lachlan Roberts at rear of field. There's a black and white for the 68 of Maxim Kerwin. Not sure what that's for. No doubt the principal will have an answer. Baker Manson. Oh, fastest lap of the race, 29.481. We're a tenth off the lap record now. The 69 of Manson really found the accelerator pedal in the draft of the 88 of Baker. They've got two to go this time round. There's the black and white, just to reaffirm. Kerwin's got a black and white, got to go and see the principal afterwards. Great time, Marco Manson. The number 69 really starting to... Hit the straps now. Down through turn four they'll go. They'll get the last lap board this time around. Aker's just got to hang on for half, one and a half laps. He's got a little bit of a buffer. Barring a mistake, it's ba Baker's for the win. Looks over the left shoulder. One to go. CRG New Zealand. Vortex DVS Junior. Heat three. Can Baker make it two from three? Oh, leans to the outside of the cart. That allows the 69 to catch up, but not quite enough. I think Baker's going to do this. He's got about half a lap to go now. A couple of corners. It's Miles Baker's for the taking. That's the second win out of three for Miles Baker. Second's going to go to the 69 of Marco Manson. Then we go back one to the 68 of Maxim Kerwin in three. Daly will be fourth in the 97 cart. Sam Wang is fifth, then it's Lachlan Tomlinson, the 98 card in sixth place. Harrison Zhao, seven. Max Amon, eight. And ninth place will be filled by the 20 of Lachlan Roberts. Well, that's the last heat of the day for Vortex DBS Jr. And a great win for Miles Baker. His dad will be happy with that. Here we go. We move from the DBS Juniors to Vortex Mini Rock, proudly supported by NZ Motorsport. Daniel Bray and Rachel Bray from NZ Motorsport. Multiple New Zealand champion. Second in the world champs in 2018 in Belgium. And another big long rap sheet of incredible accomplishments. They can help you carting out. NZ Motorsport, go find them in the pits. Easy to find. By leading us away will be the 69 of Tommy Hart. Alongside the national school's champ Seth Comer. Row two will be North Island champ Braxton Craving are being run by Mitchell Sparrow this weekend. Alongside the five of Braden Watson. Row three is the two NZ of Henry Fisher and Zach Hempful. 
Row four, the 11 of Jack McGrath and the 63 of Maximus Rennie. Dal Brolin champ next and Cripps will start from P10. Addo Bailey from nine. From 11th will be the 13 of Sebastian Power from 12th to 24 of Matty Heafy. Dina Wilkinson has struggled so far this weekend. We'll start from 13th position. Alongside will be the 20 of Indy Irwin. Row 8 will be Ben Brody, Kahu Twilly, Row 9, Luke McMillan and Riley Craig. Jaden Buttermore is going to start the, nine, the 43 cart from position 19. Jack Hall from 20. Harrison Cunningham will start from 21. Owen Armstrong from 22. Row 12 will be the 42 of Sean Holland and Riley Tombleson. Row 13, the 81 of Levi Trotter and Louis Marnie. Wynn Campbell will start from 27th. Oliver Bennett from 28th. Will Davey will start the 48th cart from 29th. From 30th will be the 77. Mason Bellamy from Taranaki and from 31st position the number 8 of Flynn Pocock of NZ Motorsport Vortex Minute, look at that sight folks over there fantastic formation nice and slow I'll start to wind these things up these drivers are between 9 and 13 years of age just have to stand back and appreciate how good these kids are this is the future of New Zealand Motorsport right there Start to wind them up as they get ready to cross the line and face the starter. Winding them up, here we go. Lights out. Oh, we've got a problem here. Braden Watson's been caught up behind someone who's dropped something. Oh, it's Dominic Evers, your national schools champ. He's got an issue off the start line. That's the end of the race for Dominic Evers. Heartbreak for the national schools champ. I heard a bang as they crossed the line. Something's let go on that cart, that NS cart. I think it was a chain, potentially. A bunch of bits being kicked off the track, so something fell off down there. So leading us around to the first lap, the 69 of Tommy Hart. He's going to lead us across the line. Then it's the North Island champ, Braxton Cravanger in second. Just been passed, though, by two of Henry Fisher. So Fisher in second place. Craving it back to third. Then it's Nixon Cripps, the South Island champ. Oh, there's bits everywhere down there. Not sure what they are. I'm just trying to see what sort of bits they are. I think it's actually an engine or something off. The engine's actually smashed off. There's bits of aluminium lying over the track. Across the line we'll go. Tommy Hart leads. Down the inside goes Braxton Cravanger. He's going to put it in at turn one. Cravanger for the pass into P2 so Cravanger moves up to P2 then it's uh, Henry Fisher in P3 Nixon Cripps the South Island champ in P4 he's got all the way forward from 10th position to 4th within a couple of laps that's a good effort then it's Sebastian Power the number 13 Zach Hemphill in 6th place the 11 of Jack McGrath is 7th Maximus Rennie is 8 Addo Bailey 9 and Ben, ben Brody is 10 with 12 to go, long way to go in this race. Love to see what it was that fell off the engine of Dominic Evers. Big pieces of aluminium all over the track. But anyway, around we'll go. Oh, Hempful underneath. Oh, there's a bit of side-by-side -side action between Zach Hempful and Jack McGrath. Hempful comes out in front of McGrath. So it's Hempful back to seven, McGrath to six. Look at this front group. The 69 of Hart under pressure for Craving is going to go to the inside. Craving for the lead. Down the inside at Death Valley. Craving picks up the lead from Tommy Hart. So the North Island champ out in front of the 69 who's in second place. Some more bits flying off down there at turn two. Not sure where they came from. But bits flying through the air. I think it might have been a nose cone clip or something like that. So Craving leads Tommy Hart. Then we go back to the two of Henry Fisher, then Nixon Cripps, that's your front four, they're broken away. Next in the queue, the 13 of Sebastian Power in fifth place. Then we go back to uh, the 11 of Jack McGrath, Zach Hemphill, the 63 of Maximus Rennie, Addo Bailey. Round they'll go, still 10 to go. Ravanger hanging on for the win at the moment. He's had a couple of fourth places, he'll be keen to get a win. Get as many points as he can, a bit more hip and shoulder as they come out of turn three. Three wide into clubhouse. They get through nice and tidy. That was a good effort down through clubhouse corner. 
for Kreevanger. Here comes Tommy Hart down the inside. Hart's going to take over the race lead again from Braxton Kreevanger. Now it's the two ends in of uh, Henry Fisher. Well, they've all gone defensive early. That's allowing Nixon Cripps to catch up in the SI card in position four. So the four of them, you can throw a blanket over them. They hustle each other around through turn four. Up they'll go in five. No change in the order through five. And then through six and seven. And rattle down into turn one. Tommy Hart, Cravanger. Then it's Fisher. Nixon, Cripps. So Hart back in front of Cravanger now. Cravanger putting the pressure on. Can Tommy Hart hang on to this lead with eight to go? Hart beats Cravanger. Then it's Fisher, Cripps. Sebastian Power, Jack McGrath. Jack Hemphill in seventh place in the 85 with a bright green helmet. Hart, Cravanger, Fisher, Cripps. The 13 of Sebastian Power, then Jack McGrath. Thought McGrath was going to look down the inside at one, but decides to go line of stern through one. Then it's Hemphill, Rennie, Luke McMillan, Addo, Bailey. That's your top ten. Can't take my eyes off this top four out in front. This is battles up and down the field. Mason Bellamy's got himself up to 23. Still got work to do to get further forward than that. Six to go. NZ Motorsport, Vortex Mini Rock, 31 drivers. There can be only one. Oh, down the inside, the two NZ of Fisher gets the pass made on Braxton Cravanger. So Fisher goes to two at turn two. So Hart, Fisher, Cravanger back to Nixon, Cripps in fourth. Around the corner we'll go. With five to go. A black and white flag for number 81, Levi Trotter. Looks like uh, the 85 card of Hempel may have a loose note. NASA panel. Just keep an eye on that one. So no change in the top four. But Jack McGrath looks to the inside of the 13 of Sebastian Power. McGrath picks up fifth place. Power goes back to six. And it's Hempel, Rennie, Addo Bailey. And Luke McMillan, that's the top 10. Matty Heafy just outside the top 10 and 11. And Ben Brody, Braden Watson slipped right down the order as well. Not sure what's the story with Braden Watson. Normally pretty pacey for number five. Four laps to go. NZ Motorsport, Vortex Mini Rock. Around they'll come a bit further. Bellamy looking over his shoulder instead of looking straight ahead. Three wide into turn one. They're all driving very well. Bellamy got his eyes set on the 27 of Jack Hoare in front. Can he pick up another spot? Currently sitting down in 23rd place. He'll be keen to move forward. So now the number two NZ of Henry Fisher takes over from Cravanger. Hard on the back bumper of Cravanger now as well. So Fisher's going to lead us for a couple of laps. Tommy Hart conceded first place for Tommy Fisher uh, to Henry Fisher. Cravanger in second place. Hart's gone back to third. Then it's Nixon Cripps. Here we go again. The two NZ. Down the inside goes Cravinger. Cravinger steals the lead back from the two NZ of Fisher. Goes defensive. North Island champ looking over his shoulder. Here comes Tommy Hart's going to try and get in on the party as well. So it's Cravinger, Fisher, Hart, then Nixon Cripps. I'll get the last lap board this time around. And then it's gloves off for the remaining 685 metres. Oh, here we go side by side through turns five and six and seven. Cravinger, here we go, three wide into Death Valley. Oh, there's a bit of pushing and shoving on the last lap. So it's Cravinger comes out in front. Then the next one's Tommy Hart. Cripps is there. The two NZ of Fisher has gone back to four. Fisher to look to the outside. Cravinger's just got to hang on for a few more corners. Tommy Hart's keen to get past. Down the inside goes Tommy Hart at Clubhouse. Tommy Hart steals the lead off Cravinger. 
Here we go. It's all on for the last couple of corners. Tommy Hart's going to lead us into the last corner. Craven goes to the outside, but it's going to be Tommy Hart. It's going to be a photo finish across the line. Tommy Hart's going to steal it from Nathan and uh, Braxton Cravanger. Second place is going to go to Henry Fisher. A uh, third place to Henry Fisher. Fourth to Nixon Cripps. Then it's the 11 of Jack McGrath in fifth place. Sebastian Power comes home in sixth. Zach Hemphill will be seventh in the 85 cart. Maximus Rennie eighth. Addo Valley nine. And the tenth place goes to the 76 of Luke McMillan. Wow, what a frenetic finish to this Vortex Mini Rock Heat 3. Brilliant driving. So 69, Tommy Hart takes the race win. Then we go to North Island champ Braxton Cravanger. Henry Fisher will come home in third place. Will come home in fourth. This will be the 11 Jack McGrath. And Bastion Power, the number 13 cut, will come home in sixth place. Great finish. Well, as we get recovery uh, back into position shortly, we'll get those couple of carts off and recovery back into position. Rotax Max Heavy brought to you by Robert Cunningham Construction. We're about to head out the gate shortly. A couple of wins for Josh Beth Hewn, the 1NZ. And the 57 cart of Elliot Osborne has had two seconds as well. So let's see if uh, Beth Hewn can make a clean sweep in heat three. 
Starting from the pole will be the 1NZ of Josh Bethune, then alongside the 14 of Darren Walker. Aaron Tahu will start from P3 in position in cart 48. Trending him from position 4 in the 28 cart, then the next row back on row 3, the 57 of Elliot Osborne will start out of P5. Adam Bell will start from position 6 in the number 5 cart. Jane Wilson will start from 7th in the number 52. The 77 of Kyle Simpson starts out of 8. Then the next row back, we've got Oliver Marquette in ninth position in the number 13. The 69 of Brendan Hart will start from P10. And Josh McDonald, who we lost in the uh, second heat, will start out of P11 in the number 75. So that's your grids for this final heat for this afternoon for Rotax Max Heavy. Proudly brought to you by Robert Cunningham Construction, your construction experts and community warriors with uh, so many charities supported by Robert Cunningham Construction. Things like uh, the Westpac Rescue Helicopter, Auckland City Mission, Kiwi Harvest, Trees That Count, Million Metres, Legacy and Kiwis for Kiwis and a bunch of other things that Robert Cunningham does for his community. Massive thanks to Robert, or Bob as he's known, sponsoring this class here at uh, Cart Sport 2024 Golden Spa Maintenance. City of Sales Championship. About to get underway. 15 laps for Rotax Max Heavy. We'll get on with it. Hope you join the live stream at home. Flick us comments on the Facebook page if there's something we can do better. Around the last couple of turns, we'll line up to face the starter, Beth Yoon Walker, front row. They'll start to put the hammer down and build the revs up. Across the line, they'll go. Lights out. Here we go. So Beth Yoon's going to take uh, the lead into turn one. Followed by Darren Walker, the number 14. So Beth Yoon's going to go defensive into turn two for the opening lap. So it is Bethune, Walker, Tahu. Oh, down the inside of Tahu. I think that's Elliot Osborne's just picked up Tahu. Pushed him back to fourth place. Osborne to three. Tahu's going to argue the point back. Can't uh, get past there. Runs out of room. So Bethune, Walker, Osborne, Tahu. Trent Ingham. Then it's Bell. It's Adam Bell. Kyle Simpson in the 77 cart. Then we go back to the 52 of Shane Wilson, Brendan Hart behind him, 75 of Josh McDonald is 10th, Oliver Marquette 11th, a puff of dust there out of turn three, someone drops the left rear wheel into the dirt. Bethune just bolted from the field at the moment, the number one NZ. Great opening lap of 32.286. Thirty point eight 30.8 now for Josh Bethune. The lap record round here, 30.028, held by Ryan Urban. Last year's winner, Darren Walker, sitting in second place. He'll just starting to stretch out now. No changes in the order. Still got 12 laps to run. Oh, the 13 of Marquette pulls out on Josh McDonald. Makes the pass, or oh, beg your pardon on Brendan Hart, makes the pass, but then Brendan Hart just retakes it. Just couldn't pull it up in the braking area. Number 13, Marquette. Marquette's going to look down at Clubhouse again on Brendan Hart. Can't make that move again. Now ends up in the dirt. So Bethune still leads. Eight tenths over Darren Walker in second place, the defending champ. Then we go back to Elliot Osborne in third. Tahu is fourth in the 48 cart. Muggy afternoon here in Auckland. Little track group raceway in West Auckland. Rosebank domain. Ten to go for Josh Bethune, a race leader. Then it's Darren Walker. It was eight tenths last time, it's a second now. From first to second, fastest lap of the race for Bethune. 
Lays a 30.6 at Walker. That record's 30.0. Can uh, Josh Bethune get down to that time? One through five, six and seven they'll come. Nine to go for Josh Bethune. Slightly slower that time. Walker picked up a tenth on our race leader. So the one of Bethune leads from Walker. Elliot Osborne, 57. Then it's uh, the 48 of Aaron Tahu in fourth place. The 28 of Trendingham was fifth. The, sixth of, the five of Adam Bell is in sixth place. Half race distance completed. Thirty point four again for Beth Union Walker. Thirty point six for Osborne. Thirty point seven for Tahu. Thirty point six for Ingham. So as Ingham now found the accelerator, the cart just starting to come alive for the number twenty eight. Five, six, and seven. Bethune looks over his right shoulder casually, knows that he's got a decent buffer over Josh Beth, over Darren Walker. It's nearly 1.1 seconds from first to second. remaining. Robert Cunningham Construction, Rotex Max Heavy, Heat 3 here at City of Sales 23, uh, 24. Decent gaps throughout the field, no real opportunities to pass anyone. Last step of the race, that time by for Josh Bethune, no, 30.334. Only three tenths off the lap record. Thirty point four that time for Walker. One point one seconds a gap from first to second. Walker the defending champion, the number fourteen cart, the Praga cart sitting in second place. Then we go back to Elliot, Os Elliot Osborne in the fifty-seven. Next in the queue is the forty-eight of Aaron Tahu in fourth. Bentingham is fifth in the twenty-eight. And it's Adam Bell, sixth in the number five cart. Four to go for Bethune. Thirty point four again. Two tenths quicker than Darren Walker that time. No change in the race order. Robert Cunningham construction. Otax Max Heavy. It's about one point three Ks of racing around this circuit here at Rosebank Domain in West Auckland. Giltrap Group Raceway. Big shout out to the Giltrap Group, long time supporters of all forms of New Zealand motorsport and karting right through to car racing and everything beyond. Often the careers of many racers like Marco Giltrap, Liam Wilson, SVG, Brendan Hartley, Callum Hedge, Brendan Leach, Simon Evans, Hunter McElroy, Earl Bamber and so it goes on, Scott Dixon, you name it. Traps have supported them over the years. Proud supporters of the racetrack here at Rosebank Domain. So two to go now for Josh Bethune. 1.35 seconds in the official gap from first to second. Well, Tahu looks like he's on the back of Elliot Osborne. Is there a chance coming there? One to go. Can Tahu have a crack at Elliot Osborne? Osborne's going to go defensive. Tahu's going to look to the inside. Goes to the outside instead, looking for the crossover. Can Tahu cross him over? Osborne's going defensive into two. Tahu's going to go to the outside, look for another crossover. Out of the exit at three. Tahu can't do it. Osborne's all over it. Tahu jumps the curb. He's going to look to the inside at Clubhouse. Can't make the move. One more set of corners to go for Aaron. Tahu's going to have to go the ugly way. Here comes a race win for Josh Bethune. Second's going to go Darren Walker. Tahu looking for a way past, can't make it happen. Osborne's going to pick up third place.
Tahu's going to come home in fourth in the 48 car. Trent Ingham will be fifth in the number 28. And Adam Bell will be sixth in the number five. So that's three from three for Josh Bethune. Aaron Walker's going to pick up second place. Elliot Osborne will be third. Tahu fourth. And it's the 28 of Trent Ingham in fifth place. Six to be the five of Adam Bell. Then we go back to the 77 of Kyle Simpson in seventh. Dane Wilson eighth. Josh McDonald nine. Tenth to be the 13 of Oliver Marquette. And Brendan Hart will be 11th in the 69 car. Here we go, Ingham driven Vortex DVS Senior heading out the gate for their third and final heat this afternoon. Of course, Ingham driven your quality brands, quality service, that's their mantra. 19 dealerships across Auckland Bay, plenty. Hokpo, Waikato, and Hawks Bay. 650 new and used vehicles. It's quite a few. One of New Zealand's largest family-owned businesses, been in the car dealership business for 40 years. Here we go, Kian Bird's going to lead us away from pole position in the number seven. Alongside will be the 99 of Blake Corrin from P2. Brother Mitchell Corrin will start out of P3 in the 41 cart. North Island champ Chris Cox is going to start from P4. Ayrton Williams will start out of P5 in the 46. Alongside the 84 of Jack Amon from Taranaki. The 61 of Jake Young will start from position 7, alongside with the 18 of the 17 of Daniel McMillan. Thomas Greer will start from P9, and one of our masters, Craig Frost, will start from position 10, the number 54 car. 15 laps for DVS Senior. So Mitch Corrin and Jan Bird have shared a race win each. Can't wait to see what happens with this heat now for heat 3 for Vortex DVS Senior. Of course, all these points count toward Rock Cup championships. We'll get them all formed up now down through the clubhouse corner. Led away by Kian Burt and Blake Corrin. Of course, Blake and Mitchell Corrin just come back from racing over in Italy last year. The super final up there. Little Lenato, I could be wrong. Here we go, ready for a start now. Vortex DVS Senior winding them up across the start finish line. Here we go, we've got a race on our hands now. Watch Kian Burt hang on to that lead through turn one. The big trick is who's going to go with him? It's the 99 of Corrin. Down the inside, looks to the inside. Kian Burt just shuts the door, so it's Burt, Corrin, Corrin. It's Blake versus Mitchell. Someone in the dirt there, heading down the clubhouse corner. We're all back on track. So Kian Burt going to lead in the opening lap. Followed by Blake Corrin, then Mitchell Corrin. North Island champ Chris Cox, then Ayrton Williams in the 46 cart. Williams to the inside. Can he get the pass made on Cox? Oh, there's a bit of side on side. They're going to drag race the two. Cox is on the inside. Here comes Amon as well. Just a bit of hip and shoulder on Ayrton Williams. So Amon moves up one into fifth place. Williams back to six. I think Williams has died down the inside of uh, Amon again now and retaking that position at Clubhouse Corner. So it's Bert, Blake Corrin, Mitchell Corrin, Chris Cox, Ayrton Williams, Jack Amon, then it's McMillan, Jake Young, Craig Frost, and Thomas Greer in the 26 cart at the rear of field. 
Only 3.8 seconds across this entire field. Arthur's on track, Blake Corrin in second place, the 99. Looks like he's got an issue. Playing with something on the cart, not sure what the problem is for the 99 of Corrin. He's in trouble. Corrin's got an issue. Playing with something on the side of the radiator. Blake Corrin. Fiddling with something on the side of the cart. That's going to allow Cox to sneak through. Oh, a bit of contact at turn two. The bird's gone. Then it's Mitchell Corrin. Blake Corrin. Chris Cox trying to fly away past. Ethan Williams is there as well. Then it's the 84 of Jack Amon. So Bert. Mitchell Corrin. Blake Corrin. Then it's Cox. The 46 of Williams. Then the 84 of Jack Amon, the 70 of McMillan, back in seventh place. Jake Young's there as well in eight. Craig Frost in nine. Then it's Thomas Greer in 10. Fastest on track, Jan Burt, 30.323. 30 30.119's a lap record around here for DVS Senior. Held by Ayrton Williams, sitting back in fifth place. Can Burke get close to that? 30.175. That's close to lap record time. A couple of hundreds off lap record time now, our race leader. So Kian Burt still leads from Mitchell Corrin. Then it's Blake Corrin, Chris Cox. 46 of Williams down the inside of Cox. Can Williams pick that position up? Williams goes to four, Cox to five. Defensive into turn one, Cox can't get past. So the 46 of Williams, moving forward in fourth place, 30.093. That, to me, unofficially is a new lap record for Kian Burt in this category. We'll just get that confirmed for you, but that's gone under the official lap record of 30.119. So 30.093, Kian Burt still getting faster and faster. Twenty nine 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 two for Kian Bird. I'm sure that's a new lap record. In the forty one of Mitchell Corrin, the ninety nine of Blake Corrin is third. Ayrton Williams, the forty six, is in fourth place. A couple of drivers have now gone under the lap record. Blake Corrin in third place, Officially, unofficially thirty point zero nine zero, also under the old lap record. We continue to thunder around, still got seven laps to go. 29.978. The 41 of Mitchell Corrin, I think, has just set another new lap record. 29.978. We'll have to get that confirmed for you. The race order as they cross the line with six to go. Kian Burt, Mitchell Corrin, Blake Corrin, Ayrton Williams, Daniel McMillan. The 61 of Jake Young is sixth place. Then it's the 54 of Frost. Then behind Craig Frost is Thomas Greer. We've lost Jack Amon. He's just cruising around now across the start finish. I'm not sure what the 84 the issue is with the 84 cart. Five to go for Kian Burt. Mitchell Corrin in second place. Blake Corrin in third place. Fastest lap so far belongs to Blake Corrin with a 29.867. Smashing the new lap record, the old lap record of 30.119. We're still four to go for our race leader. Of Kian Burt, the number seven. 41 of Mitchell Corrin in second place. Then it's the 99 of Blake Corrin. The 46 of Ayrton Williams in fourth. McMillan fifth in the 17. Then it's the 61 of Jake Young. Chris Cox, the North Island champ, down in seventh place. Eight Frost in the 54 is eight. Then it's Thomas Greer and Jack Amon from Taranaki. So we've got two to go now with Kian Burt. Make that three to go. Got my numbers back to front. 
29851, the new lap record for Blake Corrin in the 99 car. Here at Cartsport Auckland, day one, the 24th City of Sales, brought to you by Pool and Spa Maintenance. Two to go for our race leader, Mitchell Corrin now, trying to hold off his brother Blake. So Mitch Corrin in second place in the 41 cart, got his brother breathing down his neck, the 99 of Blake Corrin. It's the 46 of Williams. Fox and Jake Young having their own little battle there. Back in sixth and seventh place. Last lap board for Kian Burt. And the 41 of Mitchell Corrin, the 99 of Blake Corrin. Burt looks over his shoulder, got a decent gap of 1.6 seconds. Back to second place. Our master, the 54 of Craig Frost and Thomas Greer having a good scrap at the back of the field. But with a couple of corners to go, it's going to be another race win. Kian Burt, the number seven. So across the line, he'll go to take the chequered flag. Second's going to go to the 41 of Mitchell Corrin. Third will go to Blake Corrin, the 99 cart. Next across the line is the 46 of Ayrton Williams. Then it's Daniel McMillan, 17. And across the line, in sixth place, the 61 of Jake Young. Then we have Chris Cox, Craig Frost, Thomas Greer, and Jack Amon back in 10th place. Out the gate we're going to come, Rotax Max Jr, proudly supported by International Kart Supplies, your karting supplies expert, whether it's a new Sodi kart, you need some driver training and engine rebuilt, go and see Matty Kinsman, 18 time New Zealand title holder, 10 time New Zealand sprint title holder, 5 time North Island champ, and 3 time CIK champ, 4th equal on the all time New Zealand title holders list, Matthew Kinsman running IKS, Go and catch up with Matty if you need a new card or need to go fast. So starting from the pole position, the number 88 of Miles Baker. Marco Manson's going to start alongside in the number 69 cart. Then in row two, Jamie Thompson and Maxim Kerwin. Row three is Amelia Phillips and Harrison Zhao. Charlie Jamison and Connor Brady are going to share row four. Got McDonald, Carson Daly out of row five. From P11, Cy Finnemore alongside Zach Tucker in the number 11 all the way from Christchurch. From row seven, Grayson Stowe and Cooper Inslee, the number 39, from 14th position. William Edmondson will start out of 15. Arian Lala from 16. Lachlan Tomlinson from 17. Amelia Carter from the Manawa 2. Uh, from Auckland, beg your pardon, will start from position 19. From row 10, the 32 of Rocky Teen and Sam Wang. Dylan Brangwin and Maya Forrest will share row 11. Out of position, 23, Jack Phillips. 24 will be Ethan Holland, Jackson Wilson, Kobe Barnes, Wilkinson and Barnes will start from row 13. Row 14 will be the 85 of Jet Price and Jack Morris. 29th will be 18, Ben Gormack. 30th will be the 7 of Campbell Owens. Finley White will start from 31. And the 28 of Levi Mitchell will start out of position 32 for International Cart Supplies. Rotax Max Jr. Heat 3 about to kick off over 15 laps. We'll start to wind them up, keep an eye on uh, Miles Baker and Marco Manson at the front of the field. Lights out. These Rotax is all wind up into turn one as the drone chases them down into Death Valley. What a great bit of footage that'll be. Baker comes out in front, Manson second, then it's Thompson in third. Oh, it's a bit of shoving, push and shove going on in there. 68, Maxim Kerwin's in there in fourth. I've oh, got one in the bags at turn two. Back on the track, that's the number.
17 of Jack Phillips from the Manawa 2. Had a rough day so far. But here we go. Baker leads Manson. Manson in the draft. Pulls out at turn one. Manson's going to take over the race lead. So Marco Manson now leads from Miles Baker. Then it's the North Island champ, Jamie Thompson. Down the inside goes Thompson. Baker gets swamped and loses two spots to, to Thompson and Maxim Kerr. And so Baker goes back to four at turn two. And next in the queue, Amelia Phillips from the Manawa 2, the number four, the young fast female. He's going to hunt down Miles Baker as well. Jamie Thompson down the inside of Manson to take over the race lead at turn one. Here it goes. Thompson's gone. Through the inside, the North Island champ, Jamie Thompson, had two from two so far, looking to make it three from three. So it's Thompson leads Marco Manson. Then it's Maxim Koo and Miles Baker. Amelia Phillips. Harrison Jell, Scott McDonald. Down the inside there. A pass. At turn five, the number 11. That's Zach Tucker. Gets all crossed up coming out of there with Carson Daly, Cy Finnamore. Tucker hangs on. Tucker's up to ninth place. Behind Cy Finnamore, then it's Daly. Cooper Inslee. It's all gone a bit nuts here. Rotax Max Jr. Brought to you by International Kart Supplies. Thompson just got too much pace in front. Fastest on track though, that time was the 88 of Miles Baker in fourth place. 11 to go. Long way in this race still to go. For Miles Baker, 30.398 for Jamie Thompson. Fastest lap of the race out in front, the North Island champ. Then it's Marco Manson. Maxim Kerr and Miles Baker. Next in the queue, Harrison Jell, the 82. Media Phillips going back to sixth place, the number four from Manor Two hits the curb out of turn six. Launched itself. Here goes the 33 down the inside. Scott McDonald's going to pick up another spot. Mechanical black flag for Maya Forrest, the 99 cart. Must be something falling off that number 99 cart. Oh, it's the nose cone that's gone. So no nose cone for Maya Forrest. She'll be back to the pits. The one parked up on the grass over there as well. Can't see which cart that is. I think it's Jackson Wilkinson. North Island champ still leads us around Jamie Thompson, 30.182. Benson in second, Maxim Koo in third. Then it's Miles Baker, the 88 cart. Harrison Zhao fifth. Scott McDonald sixth. Then it's Amelia Phillips, Zach Tucker, and Cy Finnamore, number nine, and, and number 10 and ninth. And Charlie Jamison's your top 10 in the 13 cart. But Thompson quick, 30.082, last time by for Miles Baker. That's the fastest lap of the race, the number 88 of Baker, trying to want, find a way past Maxim Kerwin. Official gaps half a second from first to second place. That track record around here, held by Liam Skeets, 29.4. And nowhere near that at the moment. Field spread right out now across the entire racetrack. International Kart Supplies, Rotax Max Jr. Jamie Thompson looking to go three from three with half race distance completed. Can he hang on? 30.019. Fastest lap of the race belongs to our leader, Jamie Thompson, the current North Island champion in that Praga Kart out in front. Benson in second place, then it's Kerwin, Baker, Shell, Scott McDonald, Amelia Phillips, Cy Finnamore, Zach Tucker and Cooper Inslee. That's your top ten. Then we go back to the 13 of Charlie Jamison, the 40 of Connor Brody, and the 97 of Carson Daly. Got nose cone being carried down. I think that's Maya Forrest nose cone over there at uh, turn seven. Five to go now. We're two thirds through this race. IKS, Rotex Max Jr. No one can match the pace of the man in front. 30.000, exactly 30 second lap. 
Well, Jamie Thompson. Round will go again. I hope you're enjoying this at home, folks. Send us a like or a thumbs up. Or a thumbs down, even if you have to. Let us know how you're finding the, the live stream. So with four to go, your race order, Jamie Thompson, Marco Manson, Maxim Kerwin, Miles Baker, Harrison Zhao, Scott McDonald, Cy Finnamore, Amelia Phillips, Zach Tucker, Cooper Insley's the top ten. Some good battles up and down the entire field. With only three laps to run, 1,500 metres. Oh, there's a bit of push and shove out of turn six and seven. That's the 22 of Sam Wang. Having a battle with the 36 of Edmondson. And the 87 of Dylan Brangwin. No one can catch Jamie Thompson at the moment. With two to go. 1.1 seconds was the gap last time. Baker's got past Maxim Kerwin now. Baker into the top three. 29-9 that time for Jamie Thompson. And it's Marco Manson, Miles Bacon out of three. The 68 of Maxim Kuhn back to four. Then it's the 33 of Scott McDonald, Harrison Jow's gone back one as well. Minimal's up to seven, Tucker up to eight. Phillips in the top 10 now. He's drifting backwards with one to go. Last lap borders out for the North Island champ. Then it's Manson, Baker, Kerwin, McDonald, Jow. Tucker goes defensive on Cooper Inslee. Not wanting to give up that ninth place. Inslee's going to look to the inside. Tucker goes defensive. Tucker down the inside. Inslee goes to the outside at turn two. Can he find a way past? Not able to get past Tucker, the number 11. Round through turns five. In six and seven. Another race win for Jamie Thompson. Three from three for the North Island champion. Then it's Marco Manson in second place. Third's going to go to Miles Baker in the 88 car. Then we go back one more to the 68 of Maxim Koo in, in fourth place. Scott McDonald will be fifth. Then it's Harrison Zhao will be sixth. Cy Finnamore seven. Zach Tucker, the number 11, will be eight. Cooper Insley, nine. Melia Phillips made it to the top 10. Then it's Charlie Jamison, Connor Brody, Carson Daly, Grayson Stowe, and William Edmondson's your top 15. So a clean sweep so far for Jamie Thompson in the heat racing. What's he got for tomorrow? Ah, it looks like it's on fire. There's a 29 cart. It's making its way back to the pits now. It was Jackson Wilkinson parked up down there at turn seven. Not far from home now, folks. Only four to go this afternoon. Don't forget, in the club rooms, there's a uh, giveaway for a brand new bell helmet from Racer Products. A lot of tool shed vouchers and bits and pieces and tools to be given away, as well as two sets of senior tyres and two sets of junior tyres, proudly donated by Cartsport New Zealand. NZ Cars are putting the food on the barbecue, so there's a thing to eat over there as well. Big thanks to NZ Cars for putting the food on for the barbecue. Great shot on the live stream of the drivers all sitting in pit lane. A race winner, North Island champ, Jamie Thompson. We're not far off a start now for Rotax DD2. Proudly supported by 100% Extreme Appliances. The Albany Mega Supercenter up in the north shore of Auckland here. Peter Hill and the team. They'll look after you if you're looking for something for your kitchen or your laundry. Even a bit of tech, some small appliances, a bed even. Or a new TV or some audio gear. Go and check out the team at 100% Extreme Appliances. Great team of people up there in the Albany Mega Centre. Auburn Ave in Albany, right next to Mitre 10 Mega. 
Leading us away will be the 32 of Josh Bethune. He had a couple of race wins already. Can he go three from three? The 32. Alongside will be the three of Darren Walker. Then we've got uh, the 88 of Daniel Mayo from position three. Kevin Storr will start out of P4. Remember, these guys uh, qualified with exactly the same lap times. On the third row will be the number 24 of Matthew McBride from position five. Max Donnelly from position six. Leon Ellis will start the 66 cart from seventh. Vikram Singh will start out of position eight. On nine will be the 16 of Craig Cook, then alongside the 49 of Tim Wakefield. Row six will be the 83 of Mark Taylor from 11th, Darren Johnston, Johnson from 12, and Cameron Hill will start the 43 cart from P13. Hundred percent Albany Extreme appliances. Rotax DD2. Third heat for the day. We'll have pre-finals finals tomorrow. The Dunes had a great day. On two from two in this class already. Another man with real pace is the number 24 of Matthew McBride. Had two second places. Walker's had two, three third places. The McBride, quick out of the blocks, the number 24. We need an auto electrical sponsored. Number 24 of Mac McBride. Here we go, folks. About ready to get started. Facing the starter for 15 laps. 100% Extreme Appliances. Rotax DD2. Lights out. Look at the start from Cameron Hill down the inside. Wow, he just bombed it down the inside. Picked up about six placings in one go. So Cam Hill's moved up at least six places. In the number 43. Oh, look, there's a whole bunch being clean bowled off the end. Here at turn two. Not sure what happened there. I'll review that on the race cameras. There was a bunch of guys doing loops on the grass down there. Meanwhile, Josh Bethune out in front from the three of Darren Walker. Then it's the 25 of Max Donnelly in third place. Cameron Hall's got himself up to fourth. Started from rear field, remember, in 13th. Up to fourth already, the 43 of Cameron Hall. Then it's the 66 of Glenn Ellis. In sixth place, Vikram Singh there in seven. Then Wakefield eight. And Darren Johnson in ninth place. So Beth Ewing leads Walker. Cameron Hill, Donnelly back to fourth now. Then it's the 66 of Glenn Ellis. Back to the 16 of Craig Cook in sixth. Vikram Singh trying to go around the outside of the 49 of Tim Wakefield. Wakefield prevails. Singh goes back one more. So Singh goes to eight, Wakefield to seven, then it's Darren Johnson. Oh, there's a bit more scrapping at the clubhouse corner. I think that's Mark Taylor and Darren Johnson having a ding-dong over there. Then Matt McBride, not, not sure what happened to McBride, he's at, at the rear of field. I think he's one of the ones who got clean bowled over there at turn two. So McBride puts his head down now, gonna have a go and try and work back through the field. 29-5-4-9. Defending champion from last year. Oh, there's a your black and white flag for cart 24. That's Matt McBride. I guess that's for his part and whatever happened down there at turn two. The McBride's got good pace. Work his way back to the car. Oh, someone screwed it up. That's Vikram Singh out of turn two. And the 55 got all crossed up sideways, lost a bunch of places. I think it's gone to rear of field now, Matt McBride. There's a black and white for the 88 of Daniel Mail as well. So Beth Yoon 
Fastest lap of the race with a 29.287. Lap record time, 28.5. Still got half a second to find. Josh Beth Yoon, 28.218. Now Cameron Hill the fastest in position three. And there's Ian Lee from Darren Walker, the three NZ. Then the 43 of Cameron Hill is third. 25 of Max Donnelly, then Glenn Ellis, one of our legends, running the white plates in fifth place. The 16 of Cook in sixth. Then it's Matthew McBride, made his way back to seventh place. The 49 of Wakefield, then Mail. Then the 83 of Mark Taylor, Darren Johnson, the 73 in 11th place. Then it's Vic Ram Singh, and we've lost Kevin Score. We can't see him on the racetrack, he must have gone to the pits. The Rotax DD2 being led by Josh Bethune. Bethune fastest again on the racetrack with a 29.099. That's the fastest lap of the race so far. Josh Bethune. Got a massive gap, 1.5 seconds officially. The number 32 running the black and white top half plate. Defending champion from last year here as well. Seven laps to go. The 100% Extreme Appliances Albany. Rotax DD2. Sing to the inside at turn one. Making that cart sting down there. Ruby goes on the 73 of Darren Johnson. Picks up 11th place, puts Johnson back to 12. Here comes Cameron Hill down the inside. Cameron Hill's going to pick up second place off Darren Walker. That's no easy feat to get past Darren Walker. So Cameron Hill goes to P2, Walker to three. Meanwhile, Beth Yoon continues to drive off from the distance. His last lap was five one thousandths of a second slower than his fastest lap. So Beth Yoon pumping out consistent lap times with six to go. How do we in the setup window now? Can he get into the 28th, Josh Bethune? Not quite that time around, 29.021. So Cameron Hill now, three tenths slower than Bethune, but quicker than Darren Walker. Walker just bounced over the curve, compromised his exit speed from turn three. Bethune nice and smooth. And tidy with five to go. 28-9 now for Josh Bethune. Fastest lap of the race. The only driver in the 28s. Four tenths off the lap record. Now man out in front. The number 32 of Josh Bethune. No change in the rest of the order. So it's Bethune, Hill, Darren Walker, Donnelly, Ray Cook, Glenn Ellis, Matt McBride, Daniel Mayo. Tim Wakefield, Mark Taylor, Vikram Singh, Darren Johnson, and Kevin Storr. 100% appliances. Rotax DD2. Heat 3 this afternoon. You making it look, e look easy. It's definitely not easy. But you're making it look very easy. Two to go. will go, with only a couple to go, 66 of Ellis under pressure from Matt McBride again, ahead of Ellis is the 16 of Cook, here goes McBride down the inside at Clubhouse, can't make it move, we'll look to the inside down at turn 5, here he goes down the inside, Matt McBride pokes it in there, gets it done, last lap boards out now for our race leader, Josh Bethune, 28.827, fastest lap of the race on lap 14. So it's Bethune, Hill, Walker, Donnelly, Cook, McBride, Ellis. Can McBride get one more on the last lap? Craig Cook just in front of him. Race win for Josh Bethune. Another great drive from the man in the number 32. Second's going to go to Cameron Hill in the 43 cart. Then it's Darren Walker in third spot in the number three in dead. Fourth will be the 25 of Max Donnelly. Fifth place is going to go to Craig Cook.
Nat McBride's going to come home in sixth. Then seventh will be Glenn Ellis. Daniel Mailer will be eighth. Tim Wakefield, nine. In place is going to go to Mark Taylor. Vikram Simmons is going to pick up 11. Darren Johnston will be 12th. That's your last hit today for Rotax DD2. Three from three for Josh Bethune. Cameron Hill comes home in second place. And it's Walker at three thirds. Up next, the mighty KZ2s. The big bangers. Always exciting to watch the Danny Gelb Employment Law Advocacy KZ2s. Three more races to go, folks. Don't forget, come across the prize giving, uh, to, sorry, to the club rooms afterwards. There'll be some giveaways. A beautiful bell helmet from Racer Products. Some tool shed vouchers and gear, as well as two sets of tyres for the seniors, two sets of tyres for the juniors. Big thanks to NZ Cars for putting on the barbecue. Out the gate they come, the big bangers, the KZ2s, the six-speed gearbox, monsters, front and rear brakes, plenty of horsepower, 45 horsepower in fact, only weigh 175 kilos, you do the maths about the power to weight ratio, I'll do 130 k's an hour around here, trying to hang on to one of the things, things is like a bucking bronco, starting from the pole, Will be the 24 of Graham Smythe alongside J.U. and the 1NZ, a youngster. Row 2 will be the 3NZ of Joshua Parkinson alongside the 10 of Emerson Vincent. Jacob Cranston, the Cranston Express, will start from P5. Vegan Hall from P6, the 93. From P7, the 31 of Luke Thompson. Donovan Gray will start out of position 8 in the 92 car. Oscar Jackson from P9. We didn't see Jackson in the uh, previous heat. Or Nathan Krang in the 62 car. They'll start from 9th and 10th respectively. Then it's the, 11, the 99 of Blake Corrin on position 11. Jason Lee will start from P12 in the number 45. Raymond Malin from 13th position. From 14th, the 5 of Michael Adolf. Then from row 8, we'll have the 41 of Mitchell Corrin and the 12 of Chris Cox. From position 17, the 18 of David Malcolm. Then it's the 6 of Miles Finley from P18. Andrew Grant will start from position 19. Jay Murray from Australia will start out of P20. And then from the rear with the number 16 of George Sampson. The Danny Gold Employment Law at the start will lost the number 6 cart of Miles Finley from Christchurch. He's gutted the carts as parked on the grass. Looks like Miles Finley's going to take no further part in this race. Line them up. Standing start, of course, the Rotex are the, the KZ2s. Here we go. What a great sight, great sound. If you're a petrol head, you'll love these. If you're a greenie, you probably don't. But that's okay. These are not for the faint-hearted. Waiting for the green flag at the rear of field once we're all in formation. Here's the green flag from Balatahu. Ready to get underway. KZ2, the lights will count up, then go out. One, two, three, four. Race start. Another great start from the front row. 
Smythe and Irwin, Irwin got away great, but Irwin plots into second place. Graham Smythe into P2, uh, P1, sorry. So em Emerson Vincent's jumped up to P3. Then I think it's the nine of Cranston ahead of uh, three of Joshua Parkinson. So first lap around, Graham Smythe, the 24 car will lead us from Jay Irwin. Then it's Vincent. Cranston, Parkinson in the three. Next one back's the 93 of Regan Hall. Then we go one more to the 90 of Jackson. Then it's the 31 of Luke Thompson. We lost the number six of Miles Finley before the start. 15 laps don't take long on one of these. Smythe, Irwin. Then it's Vincent. Cranston, Parkinson, Hall. Here comes Jackson down the inside of the 31 of Thompson. So Jackson moves forward one more. Thompson goes back to eighth place. Jason Lee gives him a big serve into turn two. Then it's the 92 and behind of Donovan Gray. Benson under pressure from Parkinson down the inside. Parkinson makes a move, gets the pass made. So Parkinson moves forward one more. Cranston's going to have a look at turn one. Not quick enough in the braking area for Josh Parkinson. So it's still Smythe versus Irwin. Then it's Vincent, Parkinson, Cranston, Regan Hall, the 90 of Jackson. Then it's Thompson, Jason Lee, 92 of Ronald Gray. Raymond Malin's here in 11th, and it's Michael Adolf in 12th. Defending champ from last year, Liam Lawson, not racing here this weekend. The track record held by Graham Smythe at 27.357. Still a long way off that, eight tenths off that yet. What's Irwin got for Graham Smythe? The youngster's going to take it to the master. Hope you're enjoying this at home, folks, and appreciating how fast these things are. Irwin hard on the brakes into turn five. Rises up on the back of Graham Smythe. Down into turn one they go. Irwin seems to be better in the braking area. There's nothing between the front two. Is Irwin's car just starting to come on nicely? Down the inside, he's having a look all over the place at Graham Smythe, just applying the pressure to the back of the 24. But Smythe's a calm head, he's been doing this a long time. He knows how to hold off the hard charging Jay Irwin behind him. Fastest on track, 28, 27, 8, 1, 6. We're getting closer to lap record time. Half a second to find for Graham Smythe. Parkinson now has gone faster with a 27.776 sitting down in fourth place in the draft of Vincent. It's benefiting the three and of Parkinson. Looking for a way past his teammate. Both driving Sodi carts. Here we go into turn one. Can Parkinson put it on the inside? Not close enough to Vincent to have a go that time. He's still the fastest on track. Joshua Parkinson in fourth place. So your race order, Graham Smythe, Jay Irwin, Emerson Vincent, Joshua Parkinson, Jacob Cranston, Regan Hall, Oscar Jackson, Luke Thompson, Jason Lee, Donovan Gray. That's your top 10. But Smythe, clean pair of heels. He's gone two from two so far. Can he make it three from three? Temperature starting to climb up, so up outside there now. Vincent just driving a calculated race, keeping Josh Parkinson behind him. Parkinson looks like he's ready to have a crack though. Smythe now gone fastest with a 27.734. Six to go for Graham Smythe and Jay Irwin. Vincent's got Parkinson closing in quickly on the back of the number 10. Vincent's had a second and a fourth this weekend so far. Can he back it up with a third? Parkinson's had two thirds. Maybe wanting to get three thirds. Now your race order, Graham Smythe. One NZ of Jay Irwin. Then it's the 10 of Vincent, the three of Parkinson, the nine of Cranston. Regan Hall, 93 car, sitting in sixth place. Still five laps to run in this third heat. But Danny Galb, Employ Law, Employment Law Advocacy, KZ2. Parkinson still searching for a high or low line to get past 
the back of Vincent. No way through yet. Vincent doesn't make too many mistakes for a young fella. Thunder down into Death Valley at 130 k's an hour. Then barrel out the other end down to turn two. Oh, Vincent made a slight mistake in the braking area at two. Here comes Parkinson. Gives him a touch up for his trouble. Out of two. Parkinson on the back bumper of the number 10 now. He'll look to have a go. One more mistake like that will cost Emerson Vincent three race, three laps to go in this race. When's Parkinson going to make the move? It's coming. I can feel it in my bones. Still Smythe leads from uh, Jay Ewan. 27.604. Jay Ewan set the fastest lap. With three to go. Such is the quality of this field. Two laps now. Here comes Parkinson. Down the inside. Can he have a look? Oh, there's half a gap. Can't get through there. This makes a mistake. Flips the back of Vincent. Compromised exit speed. So Cranston in fifth place as well. Back to sixth is Regan Hall. Got the 90 of Jackson. Climbing over the back of the number nine, uh, number 93. Last lap forward for Graham Smythe. Can he go three from three? It's looking likely. Vincent Parkinson are going to scrap it out for the last place on the podium. Can Parkinson get a good drive out at one? Down to two they'll go. Parkinson can't get through the inside at turn two. Vincent's all over it, just covering the line. He'll go defensive in four. Parkinson can't get through. Graham Smythe's going to take this race win, going to go three from three. Can Parky get down the inside? Not quite close enough. Race win for Graham Smythe. Second goes to Jay Irwin. Third to Vincent. Fourth will be... Josh Parkinson. The nine of Jacob Cranston comes home fifth. Regan Hall will be sixth. Nothing in that. Then it's the 90 of Oscar Jackson in seventh place. Luke Thompson will be eighth in the 31. Raymond Malin nine. Donovan Gray ten. And Jason Lee in the 45 cart will be 11th. Lee have it. Three for three for Graham Smythe. Two wins for uh, two second places for Jay Irwin. Vincent picks up a second, third, and fourth. Parkinson with a two thirds and a fourth. Good run for Cranston that time, two fifths in a row. A 93 of Regan Hall. Runs on the sixth. Here we go, folks. KZ2 Big Bangers, two to go this afternoon. We're making good time. Only 3.30. Well, second last heat of the day, about to roll out the gate shortly, folks. Strata Networks, your hard-working IT specialists, Cadet Rock. Been a great afternoon so far. All these Cadet Rock drivers. I want to give us, and uh, Ivor Spence shared a couple of race wins, a race win each. 
What's going to happen this time? So Spence off the front row from P1. Toby Thompson will start alongside in P2. Joey Joe from P3. Dominic Evers, National Schools champ out of P4. Ryan Healy is going to start from P5. Reed Phillips from P6. In the number six, Nico Thomas in the 97 out of seventh. Ray Milne will start from P8 in the number seven. Taylor Costello will start from row five alongside the 22 of Elliot Armstrong. Timmy Brock out of P11. Kaiser Rankin from P12. The other Taranaki man, Sam Amon, will start the 74 cart from position 13. Reese Gaskin will start from 18, uh, 14 in the number 18. Alex Craig will start out of 15. Alexander Cunningham from 16. Van Walker out of 17 in the 69. Nico Houston from Rotorua will start from position 18. Zan Twilly will start from position 61. Well, he'll start from cart 61 from position 19. Get yeah, around the right way. Max Turner will start from position 20. And Briella Roberts from the rear in position 21 with cart number 20. So that's your grids for Strata Networks. Cadet Rock. Well, look like it's, uh, it's kickoff time here for Cadet Rock. I'll start them up this time around. Temperature starting to get up there now. The defending champ, Ivor Spence, leading from the front row, winding these little carts up. Here we go, racing. Spence and Thomason off the front row. It's Thompson. Oh, there's contact. There's about six or seven taken out down the end of Death Valley. I think Thompson's one of those. Our number two driver from the uh, front row. There's a bunch of carts connected together down there at turn one. One of those was our second place, Toby Thompson, in the number 34 cart. I think that's his race done. I think he's parked up. Dominic Evers was involved in that too, the national schools champ. And Joey Joe. So it's taken out the top competitors in one corner. So Spence is going to lead us around from Ryan Healy. Then it's the 97 of Nico Thomason, Timmy Brock, and the 22 of Elliot Armstrong. Next in the queue is the 45 of Taylor Costello in sixth place. Then it's Alexander Cunningham. In the 32 card in 7th, Alex Craig is 8, Sam Amon 9, Nico Houston up to 10. With the loss of all those guys in one corner. Here we go, it's changed the whole race around. Not for Ivor Spence. Ryan Healy's there as well with Nico Thomason. That's your top three. There's a black and white for the 89 of Timmy Brock. Or something that happened on track. Around will go, Spence is still leading in the 1NZ cart, the 2NZ of Ryan Healy right behind, 1.3 seconds back, then it's the 97 of Nico Thomason in third spot, field spread out now, here's a pass down the inside at 5, oh there's a bit of pushing and shoving at turn 5 and 6, between the 22 of Elliot Armstrong and the 89 of Timmy Brock, he's got a black and white for something else that happened on the racetrack. Timmy Brock, I think, just fed someone off there too, so lots of stuff going on on the track. Then it's Taylor Costello back in sixth place in the number 45. We're all battling hard for this final spot this afternoon and as many points as they can grab. Around the final corner, lining up down the straight and gas it up with 12 remaining in this Strata Network's Cadet Rock Third heat this afternoon. Spence still leading. Quickest on track in second place though, Ryan Healy with a 35.077. 
Round they'll come again down through Clubhouse. Bill Healy in second place. Thomas in third. Fence crosses the line. Here's still 10 laps to run in this third heat. So Dominic Evers right to rear of field with Joey Joe. After that melee at turn one. Keep an eye on his progress. See if he can make his way back through the field. Disappointment for the National Schools champ. Joey Joe showed great pace as well throughout the day. Toby Thompson, we've lost him, the car, number 34 car. Still over Spence leads from Ryan Healy. 175, Healy's still catching him. Two tenths a lap quicker. Nico Thomason also the fastest lap of the race in third place. So the second and third place getter is going to put the pressure on the one NZ of Spence. He can't make any mistakes. He's still got nine laps. So a couple of tenths quicker. Two behind. Spence has got his head down. Let's keep an eye on those times. 35-1 last time for Spence. 35 flat. 34-9. And one, one's behind it. Quicker than the man in front. The one NZ is going to find himself under pressure shortly. Your race orders, Spence, Healy, Thomason, Brock, Armstrong, Twilly, Costello, Houston, Amon, Alexander, Cunningham in 10th place. Spence now, that gap's visibly closed. There's nothing in it. Healy's definitely hunting him down. Was two tenths last time around. Here we go. This is shaping up to be a rip snorter. Ivor Spence is going to have to have eyes in the back of his helmet. The two NZ of Ryan Healy is going to take it to Ivor Spence from the South Island. Spence out of the WKS cart store. Team out of uh, Christchurch. Under the tutorship of Matthew Hamilton. Here we go, folks. This is definitely not done. With seven laps to go. Here comes Healy. Pulls out down the inside. Healy's going to put it in and take a lead from Ivor Spence. So Healy now leads from Spence. Thomason in third place. Thomason's going to look to challenge Spence as well. Down through turn two they go. Healy's got great pace. Thomason looking for anywhere to put that card in front of Ivor Spence. Good drive by Thomason out of there. Can he put it in here at turn five? He'll have looked in the inside of Spence. There it goes. There's the pass for two. Pushing Spence back to three. Great driving. Ryan Healy, Nico Thomason, and Ivor Spence. Good, clean, hard racing in this cadet category. With six to go. Healy, the fastest on track. 35-199. Closely followed by Nico Thomason. They're going to drive away from Ivor Spence. They work together. They'll just drive away and leave the 1NZ behind. They must have missed the setup window this time for the number 1NZ. Well, oh, Thomas made a bit of a mess of uh, turn five then. But here goes Healy with four to go, leading us around. 34-9. Laser 35 flat and Spence with a 35-4. Spence is losing time. He's bleeding seconds. Next in the queue, Timmy Brock in the 89 cart. There's a bit of a pass down there at turn two. So Elliot Armstrong goes here to Zahn Twilly. At turn two. Oh, a bit more hip and shoulder there out of turn three. On a couple of back markers. Healy. Ticking laps off. 34-9. Versus Nico Thomason, 35.07007. In fact, Thomason and Ivor Spence exactly the same time that lap, 35.007. Three to go now for our race leaders. Just trying to catch up with uh, where our national schools champ is. Dominic Evers down in 17, still Joey Joe's 19. Not making any impact on the leaders. Really doing a great job with two to go. 
34-7. That's a great time. 34-9, 34-9. Oh, Healy's just starting to drive away now, even from Thomason. The number 20 of Briella. Roberts just uh, getting out of the way, being respectful of the drivers behind. We'll get the last lap board this time around. Rider Network's Cadet Rock. Here we go across the line with one to go. Ryan Healy leads Nico Thomas and Ivor Spence in third. And it's the 89 of Timmy Brock, the 22 of Elliot Armstrong, the 61 of Zan Twilly. And it's the 45 of Taylor Costello in seventh. Nico Houston is eighth in the 35 cart. And it's the 74 of Sam Amon from Taranaki, one of the Taranaki drivers. Made it to the top 10. But it's going to be a race win for the number two NZ of Ryan Healy. What a great drive. Put your hands together, people. Ryan Healy's going to take this heat. Second's going to go to the 97 of Nico Houston, uh, Thomason. Ivor Spence is going to come home in third. Fourth is going to go to the 89 of Timmy Brock. Then it's the 22 of Alec, Elliot Armstrong in fifth place. Sixth will be the 61 of Zan Twilly. Seventh is Taylor Costello. Nico Houston's going to come home in eighth place in the 35 cart. Sam Amon's going to pick up a, a top nine. And Van Walker rounds out the top ten in the 69 cart. So here we go, folks, about to head out the gate for the last heat of the day. Just a reminder, those amazing products given to us by Racer Products, a bell helmet to be given away tonight in the club rooms. Make sure you're there. If you're not there, you can't win it. Uh, thanks to Racer Products for giving away an amazing bell helmet. There's a course and, and tools and all sorts of gear to give away, as well as two sets of senior tyres, two sets of junior tyres, proudly sponsored by Art Sport New Zealand. And big thanks to... Um, Raiden Watson's dad for putting on all the food on the barbecue. Uh, NZ Cars, big thanks to you guys for doing that. So one race to go this afternoon, folks. And it's the Urban Performance Rotax Max Light. Last race of the afternoon. The weather's held off quite good. I'm quite impressed. First time in Auckland. We had a dry meeting for a wee while. 
So here we go, Rotex Max Light out the gate as we speak, leading us away the 42 of Ashton Phipps alongside the 63 of Ryan Crombie. Next row, row two, the 25 of Chris Benton and Ethan Church. Row through, Kian Burt and Cameron Hill. From the seventh position, the five of Jake Millen and Ryan Bell from position eight. Josh Richmond will start from nine, Matthew Johnston from 10. The 51 of Edney will start out of 11, Lewis Draper from 12. Miles Finley will start from 13. Caleb Cross, national champ, will start out of P14. Lachlan Stanborough will start from 15th, Sheridan from 16th. Row nine will be the 22 of Lucas McGill and Henry Gelb. Row 10 is the nine of Ollie Workman and Divim Taylor. Tom Kleinsman and Casey Lett, they're gonna share row 11. Olivia Lorenzen will start from position 23 in the 20 cart from 24, Cody Noble. Patrick Holmes will start out at 25. Ian Smith from 26. Enzo Haggett from 27. Harley Hewitt will start out of position 28 in the 19 cart. Ryan Higgins from 29. Daniel Shaw will start the 30 cart from position, the 29 cart from position 30. And Daniel Coleman will start from the rear in the 31 cart. So that's your grids for urban performance. Rotax Max Light. Let's see what we can turn on last race of the day here, folks. You've got time, come and watch this one. If you're on the live stream, make sure you're tuned in. Don't go anywhere for this third heat of Rotax Max Light. Up the race wins for Ryan Crombie. I think he picked up a penalty for one of those. I'm not sure how the points will roll out, but Phipps has ended up with two seconds. Here we go, get ready for the last race of the day, folks. Urban Performance Rotax Lights, here we go. Oh, three wide. It's crazy into turn one. Can they all get through there? No, they cannot. There's a massive pile-up down there. Half the field's been taken out. There's about 10 carts mixed up down there. Some in the bag, some on top of each other. Not sure what the story is here. They're trying to untangle them all, get everyone back on track. What a mess that was at turn one. There's about 10 or 12 carts. So Phipps. Leeds Crombie, they're gonna red flag this race, so it's a red flag, red flag. Stop racing everyone. We've got to get this sorted out. Oh, there's almost a bit of biff for guys not watching. So it's a red flag. Looks like we'll stop them over by the pit gates. What a mess that was. A bunch of drivers decided to drive through each other. And it just all turned to tears after that. No one injured that I can see. A couple of nose cones. Surplus to requirement. Can't see any major injuries. A couple of sore legs limping around, but I think they're okay generally. Not sure how that'll start. I'm sure they'll review that on the cameras. Someone had gone through the mincer down there. I'm not sure what happened. Last race today, always promised to provide something. The 43 of Cameron Hill made his way, making his way back to the uh, back of the pack.
Oh, sorry for the delay, folks. We're just waiting for a 15-minute time period to go by while uh, people get their carts repaired after that red flag. We'll be underway at 4.30. At 4.30 back on track with Rotax Max Jr. Proudly supported by Urban Performance. Everyone's just making their way to the dummy grid now. We've got five minutes and we'll get underway with Heat 3, the last heat of the day for Rotax Max Light. Four minutes until release. We will not be holding it up. Releases in four minutes. Just while waiting, just want to take the opportunity to thank Glenn Arneson, Hayley McBride and Tony Mitchell for making this event happen, the 2024 Pool and Spa Maintenance City of Sales. So Glenn and Hayley, the two conveners, of course, uh, Chief Steward Wayne Croft, Johnny Bassett, Clark of Course, Race Director Graham Knight, all the assistants, Maylene Robbie, Aaron Merch, Clarks of Course, Kimley Hills, Mark Barnhill, Joe McDonald, Ron Alexander, Race Control, Jeanette Adlam and Yvonne, Yvonne Bryant. Joe Adlam, of course, John Kelly, Chief Tech, and Dave Robbie, Robert Richard Macy, Robert Duncan, Todd Adlam in the tech shed. Big thanks to you people and all the volunteers, the, the ambulance people, the ladies and the men in the kitchen, putting all the lunches together for us. Fantastic job over there. Here we go out the gate folks, ready for the last heat here at Rotex, Max Light, 
Bradley supported by Urban Performance. So we've got a couple missing off from the start this time. Led away though by Ashton Phipps to number 42. Ryan Crombie's going to sit alongside in P2. Row two is Chris Benton, Ethan Church. Then we've got Kian Burt and Cameron Hill on row three. From position seven, Jake Millen. From eight, Ryan Bell. Row five is Josh Richmond and Matthew Johnston. In the, next in the line, from row six, Tyler Edney and Lewis Draper. From position 13, Miles Finley. Caleb Cross, national champ, will start out of P14. Lachlan Stamber from 15. The 40 of Hero Sheridan will start out of 16. Lucas McGill from 17. Then it's Henry Gelb from position 18. Row 10, Ollie Workman and Divin Taylor. Tom Kleinsman and Casey Litt will share row 11. Olivia Lorenzen will start from position 23. There'll be uh, Cody Noble from position 24, the cart 26. Patrick Holmes will start from 25. We've got Ian Smith that will be missing from 26. Enzo Haggett will start out of 27. Ali, Ali Hurt from 28. Ryan Higgins is missing from position 29. Then we've got Daniel Shaw from 30th and the 47 of Daniel Coleman from rear of field. It's about to get underway here. Rotax Max Light, proudly brought to you by Urban Performance. Get them all gritted up. I think we're good for a start this time. It looks like the 25. Starting from the rear. Here we go. We'll wind them up. Lights out. We'll rerun this final again. Oh, there's a start in front from someone there. Someone off on the grass. I missed who that was. They sorted it out. I think it was the 43 cart of Cameron Hill got involved in some stuff off the start line. We'll get the officials to take a look at that and see what happens. But in the meantime, a round will go. Phipps is going to lead from Crombie. Oh, Crombie big twitch in the braking area in the 63 cart. Here we go. Complete lap one. Phipps leads Crombie. Crombie's going to look down the inside. Forces his way through. Cameron Hill's going to get a black and white for that start line infringement. He looks to the inside of Phipps, can't make it happen. Kian Burt sitting in third place. I think it's the number five of Jake Millen's in there as well. He's in fourth place. Then it's Josh, Rick, what? Josh Richmond back in fifth. So Phipps leads Crombie. Then in third place, the number seven of Kian Burt. Then it's Millen, the 43 of Cameron Hill. In the 96. Oh, now Ryan Crombie gone to the front. Just got in front of Ram Ashton Phipps. So Crombie, the 63 car, it's going to lead us round. From Phipps, then it's Burt. Then Millen. Back to Cameron Hill. Josh Richmond's in there. Ethan Church in the 53 car at the back of the queue. Ahead of the 97, Ryan Bell. Here comes Caleb Cross as well. He's in there. So Burt now got a couple breathing down his neck. Cameron Hill and Josh Richmond. Oh, Richmond gets uh, down the inside of Cameron Hill. Hill goes back two spots. Hill's going to look to the outside of Ryan Bell. Can he cross him over? Oh, there's a bit of crash and bash there. I think Cameron Hill's nose cone might well have gone backwards a bit that time. But Ryan Crombie's going to lead from Ashton Phipps. Then it's Jake Millen and Keon Burt. Next in the queue, the 96 of Josh Richmond. Then it's Ethan Church. Ryan Bell. There's a fair bit of uh, antagonism going on out there between a bunch of drivers. Hill goes to the outside of Tyler Edney. Around the outside, can Hill get it done? No, can't make it through. In behind is the six of Miles Finley. The field's starting to sort itself out. Caleb Cross moving forward up to eighth place. Crombie still leads from Phipps, Millen, Burt, Richmond, Ethan Church, Caleb Cross, Tyler Edney. Then it's Cameron Hill, Miles Findlay. That's your top 11. Hero Sheridan's next one back in the number 40 cart. Then we go back one more to the 44, 48 of Matthew Johnston. But Crombie started to eke out a bit of a lead already over the field. 30.053, Ryan Crombie with five laps done. Six tenths of a second lead over Ashton Phipps.
Millen in third place still. Jan Burt not got the pace he had earlier on. Burt sitting down in fourth. Then it's Josh Richmond. Good to see Josh back at the racetrack. Last heat of the race. Bombies won both heats. One and two. Now he's going for heat three as well. Urban Performance, Rotax Max Light. Bromby showing a clean pair of heels. Just a tenth quicker than everybody else. 29.906 that time around for Ryan Crombie. Half a second off the lap record. A massive spread up and down the field. From first to last, we've got about 13.7 seconds. Crombie continues to build that lead. We're over half race distance now. Another tenth of a second for Crombie. 29.873, fastest lap of the race. For the 63 cart, then it's Ashton Phipps in second place, Jake Millen is third in the number five, then Kian Burt. Live stream showing some great live onboard footage. If you're sitting at home watching it, I hope you're enjoying that footage. Round will go again with six to go in the final heat of this afternoon. We're beating the weather. The top six is Crombie, Phipps, Millen, Burt, Richmond and Ryan Bell. Then we go Church, Cross, Cameron Hill, Tyler Edney. Cross looking a bit more energised this time. Been a bit flat in the last couple of heats, the national champion. Here he comes on the back of Church. Oh, Cross has got an issue. Cross has got an issue. He's in the pit. Caleb Cross coming out of turn three. Something happened. Probably flicked a chain, I would imagine. But he's in the pits, the one he did. That's the end of Caleb Cross for this heat. He'll be gutted all the way from Christchurch. Once again, that live footage on the on the screen, giving you an eye, bird's eye view of the racetrack. Ryan Crombie, clean pair of heels. 92 down the inside. Lachlan Stombra, down at turn, turn two. Four to go for Crombie. 29.815, last time by. Versus 21.29.9. Another tenth of a second faster, Ryan Crombie. Millen looking to try and climb past the 42 of Phipps. The number five of Millen looks energised. Great race in second place. A bit of side-on-side -side action, the 26 of Cody Noble versus the 47 of Daniel Coleman down the front straight and into turn two. Three laps left in this urban performance Rotax Max Light final. Race of the day, heat three. The 23 of Divham Taylor. Got a bit of a queue forming behind that card as well. The queue consists of the number eight, Tom Kleinsman, and the 70 card of Henry Gelb. There's going to be two left now for Ryan Crombie. Straightens the card up, lights it up down through turn one. Leads 29 9 that time around for Ryan Crombie. Phipps got no answer for the flying 63 out in front. Urban Performance. The way to make you go fast is go and talk to Ryan Urban at Urban Performance. And I'm sure some of these guys have leaned on Ryan for some of the advice to make them go fast. Last slap board out for the 63 of Ryan Crombie. Then it's Ashton Phipps in second. The Millen number five is third. Then it's the seven of Kian Burt. That all looks over his shoulder. Adam Bell got Josh Richmond in sixth place right behind him. Can Bell hang on for the last lap of the race too? Church just getting passed now by the 43 of Cameron Hill. So Cameron Hill just drag race Ethan Church down under turn two and picks up another position. So Church goes to eight, Hill goes to seven, but it's going to be three from three for Ryan Crombie. The 63 is going to take heat three here. Then the 42 of Ashton Fox is going to come home in second place. Jake Miller will be third. The seven of Kian Burt comes home fourth. Then it's the 97 of Ryan Bell in fifth place. Coming home in sixth, the number 96 of Josh Richmond. Ethan Church will be seventh. Cameron Hill eight. Chris Benton's going to sneak home in ninth place in the 25 cart over Tyler Edney. It's a photo finish. Tyler Edney back in tenth now. Miles Finley 11. Matthew Johnston 12. Hero Sheridan 13. Devon Taylor 14. And Tom Clinton rounds out the top 15. So that's us for racing this afternoon folks, I hope you've enjoyed it, I hope you folks at home have enjoyed watching the live stream, it's been our pleasure to bring this to you.
what about now it's time to head over to the club rooms, have a quiet ginger ale and a lemonade and talk about what went good and what went didn't go so good. There's a bunch of giveaways over there. Big thanks to Racer Products, that's Mark Pitch and the team. Racer Products supplied us a brand new bell helmet to give away this afternoon, so you've got to be in it to win it. Tool Shed also stepping up once again to provide tools and vouchers and all sorts of cool gear from the Tool Shed. Two sets of senior tyres, two sets of junior tyres to give away as well, courtesy of Cart Sport New Zealand. And there's free sausages on the barbecue, so if you want to have a bit of a snack before you head for dinner, zip over to the club rooms, share war stories, come and join us if you like. And we'll be here bright and early in the morning at 8 o'clock at the Pool and Spa Maintenance 2024 City of Sales Championship here at Gill Trap Group Raceway in West Auckland. Good to see you of Cart Sport Auckland. So my name's Robert Boniface. It's been my pleasure to bring the live stream to you on behalf of Cart Sport Auckland. Thank you to all our volunteers in the tech shed and the timing in the uh, on track as well as the uh, people in the kitchen keeping us all under control with the ambos as well. Massive thanks to everyone here for helping us put this event on. Big, big ups to the conveners, Glenn and Hayley, for putting the event on. We'll see you in the club room shortly. If not, we'll catch you first thing here at 8 o'clock in the morning and we'll get straight into it. Cheers.